All right. Hey, hey, what's man doing? Man try to put on the way to wait, 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 wait. Let me let me mute up this thing. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies and gentlemen, wait, 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 wait. Ladies and gentlemen, let me start the show in the magical words of dream it, believe it, most of all, become it. Come on up, yo. Back in town. Uh, you know I mean, um, really good seeing you um, in a in a in in this light. I saw you yesterday uh, working some black magic. <laughs> you start already. I'm just coming yeah, from the dance, and you start already. I was telling people, right, you know what? I miss Sunday a lot. I miss him. I'm about to try to all, all a month, leaving me by myself. You know what I mean? Come on. Like, who's, the first, who's the first man we had on as a guest, yeah? It was my body part, but Johnny Roy is drying the, the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> crackers. <laughs> Some Jacob crackers business. <laughs> said, bro, man trying to kill off the ratings. Does anyone before I can, before we start the show? Does anyone know what channel Nigeria versus Ivory Coast is on? Because that has to be in the background. Big up Nigeria. We gotta win this because we cannot show up and peck them tomorrow if we don't win this final. So please let someone let me know what channel Nigeria they are showing Nigeria versus Ivory Coast. African Nation Cup. Anyway, so, let me... Oh, BBC... No, oh, Nigerian BBC. can't turn up to pick him tomorrow anyway because any Nigerian celebrate if Nigeria win, you know immigration's waiting for you lot. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I've got to get this thing. Wait, I need to have it in the background. What's my channel? Man said, my man said BBC. But I can't see it on BBC. No, go to your TV guide, man. I'm going to my TV guide right now to find out what I've got. BBC free, BBC free. My man says, "Sorry, this is as you know, this is live TV. We got to find out what channel it's on." One man saying, "I player." Nah, it's BBC free, man. BBC free. Right, so where's the BBC free on this thing? Nice on Sky Sports as well. Nigerian things. It's live on Sky Sports. On oh, Sky Sports. Okay. Yes. It's Fire like, stick. Fire stick boys. <laughs> so, so Sky Smooths, I'm sorry. Fire the, game stick started, the game started two minutes ago. Oh, wow. Nah, nah, nah. That needs to be on in the background before we, we continue the show. <laughs> Fire stick boys, 1-0. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, people. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's good um, to be back. Right. Um, as the game's on right now, I'm assuming that Nigeria are in the green and I yes, green and white. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> green. They, they oh, no, the wait, green. wait, 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 wait. Sky Sports. So, hold on, somewhere on Sky Sports. Four oh one. Four oh one. Fire stick don't say four oh one. I know. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, 41920, 419. <laughs> it's the, hey, African Nations Cup. Hey, right, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. The show can start now. Anyway, Bobby Wright, big up, big up. Brothers, thank you for the 499, Bobby. Um, he says, brothers, I will catch up tomorrow out for a celebration meal for my promotion. Big up, Bobby, and uh, I hope your promotion goes well. Um, thank you. There was another yeah, Snapchat you're here. Gonna get, you're going to get it. You're going to get it, Bobby. Also, let me just yeah, big up Miss Ringside. Tundi, I missed you. Spencer Come held on. it down. Had some great guests on, but ain't going to lie, Tundi. Your energy is unmatched. Come and on. We're, back. Back. we're back. It's we're back. Since we're back. Full, full effect. Full effect. Myself and Spence, we're back. Uh, but thank you for the four nine tonight. Appreciate it. Um, in the background, I know Nigeria is gonna break up Ivory Coast because we got powers in this thing. What are you talking about? We, go we got powers in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go, Spence. Um, yeah, you know what, Tun? 
as we've seen, the head of the show is who's next. You know I mean? So I have to, I'm going to be firing the questions at Tundi Ajayi, the manager and trainer of young Mr. Anthony Yard. Tundi, what the people want to know? Ian Harris, thank you very much for, for calling that. Oh, look, one second, yeah? One second. So go up and scroll up on the thing. There's a brother called Henry on there, yeah? Henry? Henry. Uh, yeah. Henry. Do you see it? That's about Bobby Wright. Yeah, click on that, please. I need to quickly just address this. Job in Sa Saudi? No, 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 no. Is it? Did you say that? No. If you go Henry, Henry, it's just the voice <laughs> above. That one? Um, Spencer, yeah, Nelson yeah, also no. mentioned the reason why Spencer Brown knows Tyson Fury is that he got a job <clears throat> in the sales in the cells with them. Spencer does his thing for his own gain, and the root cause is money. He is a charlatan. Is that he what you talking about? Chameleon. He's say chameleon. No, it wasn't that. It's not the next one. It's the next. Is is is? I think you went too far. That, that one. one there. That, that one there. That one there. Let me just address these people because some of these back now give me some different energy. Let, um, let, let, let me read it first so you can address it. Is um right. Henry? Henry says corrected. Spencer's character is finally revealed. Johnny Nelson called him a drunk, which must come from somewhere. But Spencer is a Muslim, so why is he drinking? Spence, okay. can you address? Okay, Tundi, uh, when have you ever seen me drink alcohol, Tim? Or how no, many years ago? One, I, I'm just being honest. I've never seen you drink alcohol in my whole life. Thank you very much. And this is on the times when me and Tundi used to go raving and everything else. <laughs> yeah, trust me. There was right. the one time, though, when there was a the one time we was in the dance store and I said, yes, we got Spencer Fear in the box, sir. And best champagne was busting. <laughs> oh, we never drank it. Oh, we never drank it, though. <laughs> I remember that. So, that's number one. Um, I think you're over-reading into the thing between me and Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson is my bony fire brethren. We are actually joking. That's a joke. That means me guy that Johnny Nelson, that's not real. You know what I mean? Hence why mm -hmm. if I was to phone Johnny Nelson right now, you see Johnny Nelson just come back on the show and all the rest of it. It's not real. What I want to know, not... Spence, what I know is why are you so vested or invested in revealing someone's character? What are you gaining from saying that Spencer is an alcoholic or a drinker? What like what does it do for your life? I, I don't know. That's what I'd, I've never understand these hating. I don't, that's why I know your heart ain't clean, Henry. Yeah, because instead of focusing on your own self, instead of dealing with the inevitable challenges that come up in everyone's life, you're on this internet where we can't see your face. You ain't got no display picture. You could be anyone. We don't know who you are, but you're there talking about my brother and trying to make like, like he's going to change anything. Ain't gonna change everything. So what? Even if he does like a drink, yes, I get the part that he's a Muslim and Muslims don't supposed to drink. But that's as I say, the Christian ain't supposed to drink. I'm sure there's Christians that drink. But what I'm saying is, what does it do for you? I want to know. I, I just, Come on, I just want what my interest is. Come on, Tim. You've done the dance already. You know what, Henry? Henry, I would block you, but I want you to stay on the show. So and, the can... and the brother can't even spell Saudi. <laughs> I did a little dance. <laughs> 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 Trust me, you know, you didn't chat about but, but I've spelled Saudi properly, please, brother. It's not Udi. Uh, it's not uh, Udi. He uh, maybe been shopping in Udi. Big up our past fashion. You see, I started already. These man making me come back, starting talking. Um, no, he never had no point, Guzzy. He never had no point. He never had no point. If he had asked for explanation, but he's like, he's like. Oh, your true character has been revealed. So we already know the angle that you're coming at. So it's not, it's not, oh yeah, Spencer. You know, um, Johnny Nelson, you don't you don't drink because I thought you was a Muslim. I thought you then Spencer couldn't explain yourself. But you saw the manner uh, in which he come and the energy which he come. It's like you're exposing stuff. You're telling people that someone's been exposed. Yeah, exposed. we're having that. So <laughs> we're having that. If I was drinking. I'll be shy when I'm drinking. I'm not hiding that from nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is my screen but like this? Like that part that you don't know me right here. But it's not yeah, anyway. Is. But we have to move on. We've got great things we're going to speak about. Tundi, man. What a one with the big. I mean, we should. Yes. We should 
Who's you got the royal family on the phone today? You know, we should have got them on the no, phone. No, we have to keep it going. Karma Serene is a bad man. Yes. Look <laughs> a bad man, brother. <laughs> you, you're lucky I'm not, I'm not you might have got the first block of the evening, but I'm gonna allow you because I'm 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 trying to keep it positive and hoping that Nigeria uh wins this tournament. But anyway, Spence. Oh uh, listen, go. Henry, Henry, you're a muppet. I'm blocking you now because uh, we don't need to argue with you. I don't want to give you no finger, but you're getting blocked. Yeah, you know I mean, but oh you saw it, it was a joke. Me and Johnny Nelson about look, you want me to ring Johnny Nelson right now to just prove how much of a joke it was. You no, know? you don't need to read because guess what? Henry, you're blocked, son. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> you're blocked. You're blocked. Oh, it was real. It was real. It was real. These little muppets. <laughs> Henry, you're blocked. You're blocked. What's, what's, your little, what's your little Nigerian man doing already? Trying to foul up the poor, the poor Ivory Coast, man. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the man. Look at the man. Ah, this is what my you back. Know, my back is hurting me. My back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, son. Every single one of these <laughs> players look like the Col Colby's. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're going Colby's cut every week. Every single one of them. They all look the same. But yeah, yeah, my man looks strong as well. He looks anyway, strong. Spence. He looks strong. Oh, let me. You know what? Let me just big up um, the people. Already, almost three hundred people online. But big up loans, oh, everybody. Big up late shows thirty two. Lee S, good to see you, my man. Ryan Marengo, boxing eye hub. You know the set goes. Uh, J V Kames, two blessings in the house. Uh, S O E Francis J T J. Uh, Greens, yeah, you know he has to go. Big up half pass fashion all day, every day. Um, Edna, come on, <laughs> boxing royale. Uh, Sid UK, mob vlogs, karma, the lovely karma serene. Um, bro, we're just it. Where are oh, Tyrod Rob Mayer, Tartan 360, Sylvester Samo. What are you doing, at them, Spence? You started eating nonsense already again. <laughs> you started eating nonsense. We just come back. I think you were just waiting for me to come back. Oh, tight, Yemi X. The one, the only, Mr. J.D. Dyer, the king himself. Oh, and it's good to see the kings. But oh, tight, J, you was, you was representing last night. Such a fantastic, such a fantastic addition to TNT Sports. And uh, he's a young man that we will be seeing for the immediate future because he blends... Uh, um, a style of commentary which is, is seldom seen today, especially in boxing broadcast. So big up, Jay. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, and it is, yeah. So Spence, let's let's touch on what I feel everyone wants to hear and what people. So it's got some good questions. No, uh, listen, I'm gonna say like Anti Yard back again. First fight of the new year. Um, yes. Was there any pressure put on you guys to perform so high octane? Um, that's a very good question, Spence. I think for me personally, as a trainer and manager, that fact meant a lot to me yesterday. And and the preparation, you gotta bear in mind, we've been preparing since before Christmas, because the, the show was originally um muted for December mm -hmm. before um, I think it was Hamza that pulled out of the fight. So, and we were in a secret location um, preparing anyway in the, in the U S uh, but as soon as the fight was canceled, we was like, yeah, we're not stopping. Well, Came sorry, back home. Tundi, Tundi, you say secret location. You posted it on Instagram. What the yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> sorry, sorry, everyone. it was secret because we never told everyone where it was. We just give it we just, we just told you some different place. You know how Instagram is. You can be in Peckham and say you're in Los Angeles. <laughs> Bro, that's how the thing goes. So we never let no one know where we was for reals. But yeah, suffice to say, we were preparing from then. And as soon as the fight was, you know, the date was moved, we were like, we ain't stopping. You know, it was a big fight because, because I guess of what was next for me. And so... I did it again. I run myself down to I'm coughing, coughing, coughing. And it always happens like two days before the fight. Um, same with the Linden Arthur rematch. I pushed myself so much to the limit, you know, 
um, I got this cough which I've got now. So the fight, <coughs> the fight meant a lot. And I'll be honest with you, just like the Lyndon Arthur rematch, I was expecting the same thing. Easy work. <laughs> I'm going to say that. And easy work is not necessarily easy. And anyone who knows, anyone who, who operates at this level knows it's not easy. It's just when you prepare in such a manner, you expect a performance like that. And I'm just keeping a rule. Whoever, whoever was in the ring with Anthony Yard last night, it's, it's, it's curtains. Mm. Spence? Done? Go ahead. I saw something new in Anthony Yard, mm. which was being busy with the jab. Has that been something that you've been working on? Because I remember in the Baturbia fight, we were speaking and trying to do like on improvements, but I saw a trigger jab. It, was, it wasn't like before, usually like a tappy tappy is a range fighting to let off bombs. It wasn't that the jab was very, very domineering. What happened? What, what's, what's changed in the game? I mean, I, I, I keep saying this, Spence. People have to always take into account, take into account that and is still learning on the job. You know, it, it, and it's for me, it's, it's credit to Anthony. And yeah, you can credit me as a trainer, but for somebody that's come from ground zero, for somebody where, I mean, you, you, people are comparing us. People are like, ah, this is a waste of time. This is too easy for and everything like that. But you're, what you have to realize, and people are saying that about someone who's had, before last night, Anthony has had less than 40 fights. 4-0. Amateur and professional. Mm. And within those 39 fights before last night, this young man has already, already competed in two world title fights against generational champions. Like, I want to make this clear. It ain't just like a normal world champion. These are generational champions of that place they call Russia. Kovalev's name will go down in history as one of the greatest Russian fighters. Better be if we already know is going down <laughs> as one of the greatest fighters from that part of the world. But guess what's more interesting, Spencer? That those two individuals has have had over 300 amateur fights. And this mm -hmm. brother from East London, wherever, Ilford, Stratford, Hackney, from East, yeah, that decided at the age of 19 to take up the sport of boxing, had 12 amateur fights, has already touch the ring with two legends and I'm telling you that that kind of education when people's talking about oh this is what happened he fights people and then he loses at the top level well done so what happens when your you lots guys fight at the top level you you lots British guys you lose and you lot are taking four times longer than Anthony to get to that level and not only that you guys are not putting on the performance Anthony Yard is putting on. Let's get it right. Anthony was seconds away from beating Kovalev. But somehow this man magically recovered from this eighth round. And I can talk this too. I did drugs. I can talk. I can. Well, we know. Because he was found guilty of performance enhancing drugs later. But suffice mm -hmm. to say, let's not Let's not talk about that side in order. Let's not, let's not highlight that side much. But Anthony Yard traveled, turned down over one million pounds. You gotta remember, I say it again, one million. Spence, one million pounds. Tundi, we're not talking Nari, you know. We're talking <laughs> English Sterling, like Raheem. That's what we're talking. It's not Naira and it's not Sidi. It's not Naira and it's not Sidi. Where we come from, you talk, tell the man that you got 100,000 in your car and see what happens. <laughs> tell the man that you got 100, 100 grand in your car and it's for something. You see what happens. So this already shows you 
the mindset of Anthony Yard. This young man is a warrior. He is the epitome of what we as boxing fans want to see within a fighter. We don't want to see fighters having the opportunity to fight world champions and then saying, nah, you know what? I don't want that fight. It's not right for me right now. It's not right for me. Oh, right, let me wait. No. And then you want to talk about us? When I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm always going to back AY. I'm always going to back AY because I know what's in him and the people have seen. The people have seen. There are not many professionals today or yesterday that will not take the step aside money knowing that they have the opportunity to fight the winner of the fight they have taken the step aside money. But Anthony Yard with 12 amateur fights done that in the embryonic stage of his career. So it's like, what more does he need to do, Spen? Anyway, let's cut, let's cut for that. Well, let's hold that for a minute because online we have one of my favorite, he was actually one of my prospects. When the, all the prospects was coming up in this thing here, I remember Ben Whitaker was one, uh, Adam Azim was one, Kyle Davis up there in Stoke was another one. And then my man, what we're about to bring in now, this is my man, the one, the only, Mr. Fraser Clark. Come on. <laughs> we say Fraser. What's going on, bro? A prospect, man. They keep telling me I'm too old to be a prospect. That's what they keep Ah, saying. get out of that, man. That's all what rubbish, bro. This is the thing. This is what it's about. Fraser. Fraser. Uh, this is what I want to ask you is this. Simon Jordan had the temerity to turn in your face and tell you that he doesn't believe that you're going to win the fight against um, um, uh, Fabio Woodley. Do you, do, do you find that, like, a little bit disrespectful? Like, why are they trying to hold his, this man's opinion? And they're not dissing Simon Jordan because I actually like the guy we met. No, so, but, so, there's a story to that. So, after Fabio's last fight with Mr. David Adelaide. Um, You're bridging. Okay. Um, so after that fight, I was uh, I, ne I was nearly sick one morning because I was listening to um, Simon Fabio on the radio. Fabio was a good fighter, but Simon was Simon was as close to up his backside as can get. Um, so then Richard in the gym one day on the side of the ring doing a zoom. Jordan. So I put my head over Richard's. But, oh God, not breathing, your head's out of Fabio's arse, basically. Um, so then he said, they said, listen, bugger off you. Uh, uh, you went to speak. And then, then basically, I question. No, so, one second, Frazier, is it, do you hear it like it's cutting out? Ton? Yeah, it's cutting out. You seem to be yeah, cutting out. Yeah, connection is cutting out, bro. Wait, is it, wait, let me, let me hold it. Bro. Fraser, you're rich, bro. What's this dodgy Wi Fi you got on with, man? Nah, full bars, full bars here. <laughs> nah, <laughs> well, it sounds clear now. Wait, Go on, yeah, man. it's now. I was holding it in a boxing glove, I think that was it. Um, Come yeah, on, so, so, yeah, so, um, there's a bit of a backstory to it. Like I said, I'd, I'd sort of uh, implied to Simon that he's a big Fabio fan. Um, and then when I see it, when I seen him, I knew that was the answer I was going to get, so it wasn't like I was like. It wasn't like, oh my god, you've gone against me. I, I knew what I was getting. Do you know what I mean? I sort of, sort of goading him into that one. Mm, which, okay. which is which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. You know, that's his opinion. But at the same time, what I will say is, it was a few months ago. This is the same Simon Jordan that I can remember driving to the gym one morning, listening to listening to his opinion on. Joe Joyce and Zhang rematch, and he he thought because Joyce had put a few more pounds on that he was gonna he was, he was gonna win the fight. Now, mm. uh, if, if you're a boxing person, you you just know how mm. easily Zhang won the the first one. You know, there's gonna take more than a few pounds putting on a few pounds to win the rematch. You know what I mean, like, but obviously, boxing people know this, and and I'm not saying time is a casual because he probably pays a bit more time into into the sport than the, the actual casual, but. Do do they just because you've watched boxing? Does it make does it make you like you know um, knowledgeable on boxing? You know, I've 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 been I've been watching I've been watching porn for years, mate, and I, and I I bet. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
Fam, this is a family show, Fraser. Like that, like that. But anyway, you know what? You make such a great point, Fraser, because you know, I think I, I, I caught a clip of Chris Eubank Sr. actually saying the same thing to Sam and Joe. He said, Bro, you're a journalist. You're a journalist. You ain't a boxing person. And I feel again, that's why people love this show because you know, you got people right in the front line, and you got obviously the historian Spencer. But you know, in terms of the actual fight, let's move on to the actual fight with um Fabio. What's your pressure, uh, the preparation like? What's the mindset going into this fight? I mean, it was a, it was kind of a surprise to most people because I think the fight was muted once before and for whatever reason, it didn't happen. Some people say it was boxer pulling you out or anything, but the fact remains is the fight's on now. So how are you feeling going into this and what, what has preparation been like? No, I mean, you know, I think this is one of them fights that, even though it didn't happen before, I knew it was going to happen. And then after after Dave Allen, I was sort of I was sort of in the bracket of I don't want another put I don't want another meaning, meaningless fight. Now, if I'm going to fight, it has to be a, like a proper fight. And uh, the British title was the one that one the one that I wanted this fight. Um, so to be fair, it wasn't like I put anything on pause. If there was the right fight, come on, I would have boxed it. I would have boxed again beforehand, but. You know, um, obviously Fabio got his win out in Saudi over David, and then it was like, you know what? Let like let's. Too many things are happening in this boxing way. There's so many ups and downs, and fights happening, not happening. I just said, look, I don't want to know what the fights in between. I'll do it now. So preparations, like it's, it's been, it's been not solely Fabio focused for a while, but you know, when when you're doing certain things in the gym, you try and think to yourself, you know. What... <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh, Fraser, one second, Spencer, what are you going on with, man? <laughs> The, the plate scratching, you're just stuffing yourself on the on the side, and like, bro, what's the matter with you? Yeah, what? No, no, I, can't, what? I can't even be serious. I'm there trying to listen to Fraser. I know I'm wearing his knife on fork and dumpling in the background. And I mean, man, sorry, Fraser. Oh, this guy, this guy is something else. Oh, you, you, you now go on Sky TV and see this nonsense guy. And I don't know, I'm Let me tell you this now. <laughs> Somebody came on there and said, oh, Spencer, you're eating and you wouldn't do that if you was on any other channel and blah. So I made sure. Every channel I do, I make sure I got a plate of food. I'm eating on the food. <laughs> Same way. Nah, nah. I, to, I never see no interview with you eating food apart from this time. Yeah. No, anyway, no, sorry, no, Fraser. No, no. Sorry, oh, Fraser. No. sorry, Fraser. Sorry, Fraser. Sorry, Fraser. Anyway, Fraser, go ahead, bro. Cool. So, so like I was saying, you know, um, preparation's like, it, it's good, man. It's like, you know, it, it's been on my mind for, for a while. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I always knew this fight would come. Um, you know, similar to, to all the fights down the line, you know, that one day they're going to come. So you can be training, you can have these guys in the back of your mind or just, you know, working on things that you think, you know, will work in, in that particular fight. So, yeah, I'm in a good place. So, you know, we've got seven weeks still and, and I'm flying. I mean, obviously, you've got the pedigree, you know. Um, how, how, do you feel that's going to play a big part in this fight? Because, you know, listen, let's get right. Fabio really it was a, from what I understand, he was an unlicensed fighter. A white collar. <laughs> a white collar fighter that was picked up by Dylan White. And uh, now, you know, listen, he's going to stop David Adelaide. Uh, but this is a rule, going to be a rule step up for him. I don't care what anyone says. You're a, a former Olympian. You've got the pedigree, you know, and uh, uh, some people may be questioned, but how do you feel that's going to play in this fight, or is this gonna be do what type of fight do you want? Is this gonna be a all right, cool? I'm gonna show you another side of me, or you think it's gonna be a tactical fight? No, I think you know, I think to, to say that this is just gonna be a fight. I mean, I know we had that we had the back and forth about oh, let's just let's we'll meet in the center of the ring and this and that. Um, now if Fabio, the people that Fabio worked with, i.e., Ben Davison, who now works with Anthony Joshua and blah blah. I mean, I think they'd like. I'd like to think they know that I'm not a dummy. Do you know what I mean? So you pr you probably you probably aren't going to see me stood in the centre of the ring having a swing out with a man that's notorious for swinging it out and, and getting the job done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I, I don't. I don't think that's a secret or anything like that. It's just. It's just you use your brain. Yeah. Um, but you know, I do. I definitely do think th this. This. There's so many different ways to win this fight. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to do, but I'm preparing for anything that he could possibly think he could do. You know, I've had to really go and analyze myself and look at my own mistakes in order to try and to try and improve that. So whatever version of me he thinks he's getting, he's not getting. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, come on. I mean, Richard, I spoke to Richard and Richard is 
assuring me that you're looking good. Everything seems to be going well, and um, I'm looking forward to it. What's it like having Richard there as you know, as your training partner? You know, he's too getting ready for a massive, massive rematch with Billum Smith, and how has he, if any, helped in you know just the the overall morale of of, of your training and, and being around him? You know, Richard. Richard just goes about his business. You know what I mean? It, it, it don't really, it don't really say too much. Trust uh, me. But but he, he he's 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 on it. He's constantly thinking. Richard's like, you know, he, he he's sort of the quiet man. And let's let not make a mistake. Richard's Richard's fantastic sparring because as much as people want to call him a cruiserweight, he's not a cruiserweight. He's a heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, trust me, trust me. Um, he ain't. He he's a heavyweight, and I I believe not just the heavyweight. I think if, if he was in the if he was in the ranks as a heavyweight now, he'd probably go into the in this country, he'd probably go into the top th two or three punches without a doubt. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we know that. We know that because you know, we listen, Rich is one of the youngers from the estate. And uh I remember I'm not too sure Spencer will will, will will remind me who said out of all of the guys at the time, Richard is the hardest puncher mm -hmm. out of all of them. Um, so we know it's not just, you know, and I feel what I feel is that Richard's boxing skills has improved immensely. Um, I'm looking forward to a, a great fight between them, but yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, and I, how you feel, Freeze? I mean, you I, guess, I bet you can't wait. I, I'm, I'm excited, you know. I think when I first when I first came into professional boxing, um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. But I definitely didn't got. I def definitely didn't get what I thought I was gonna get. Johnny, you know I think it's been it's been a bit more difficult um, in terms of, you know, when when you when you're an amateur and you're looking up and you think that yeah you, know, you hit people and people fall over for your first ten fights and and it's easy and everyone loves you. Um, that that's definitely not how it is. You know, some of these guys are tough. Some of them yes don't make you look good. Um, so you have to you have to you have to do a lot of um soul searching you have to do a lot of improving and and you have to really really um pay a lot of time and attention on improving yourself as a fighter i think a lot of people try and i mean we, listen don't get me wrong i think the ben Whitaker effect that you're going to see that throughout boxing now everyone everyone's going to try and, and try and be uh, the showman but i think you know for myself i know where i'm at and and what what i need to work on is, is the fundamentals that's what i'm trying to perfect you know what i mean so i'm, I'm just level right now just trying to just trying to get better overall and you know what let me tell you to just stay on that because as much as people may love the showboating at the highest level it's the fundamentals mm -hmm. that are going to take you through you know mm -hmm. having a great jab having a great right hand having a great left hook or right hook depending if you're sap or even having both but the fundamentals is what it is and and and, and you're right i think that's great advice for any pro and you being an olympian and saying that, I feel that's going to send ripples around. But all in all, listen, Phrase, thank you for joining us. No, no, it's I just want to ask you, Phrase, before you go, right? right? Not yet. Do you, do you, yeah. Um, do you feel a little bit aggrieved? Like, you was a national champion, you was a Commonwealth Games gold medalist, um, and you was, you was also a bronze medalist in the Olympics, right? Thank you very much, right? Do you that's feel, do you feel a little bit aggrieved that, They've put a man who's had no amateur experience and they're ranking the favorite in this fight against you. Mm. That's a good, it's a great question. I know um, that's why I asked it. And and I will say I'm not I'm not aggrieved by it because I, I really do believe that you know I really do believe I, I've I'm not quite shown what I'm on yet. Does that make sense? So you Trust know if, me. you know from 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 a cat from a and this is from a casual. So these this man that these men are putting the odds on these these people that work for Bet Fred or Bet UK whatever, they don't really know too much about boxing. Let's be honest. What they, what they, they listen know, to the show and they listen to anything we yeah, say. But yeah, we haven't spoken about this fight. What they know is what they see, and what they've seen, in fairness, so far is Fabio blowing people over, and they've seen me have um, they've seen me have eight fights, eight wins, I think six knockouts. But I think, obviously, with the expectation of being an Olympian, they probably expected the Anthony Joshua show. You know, that from the first from the first fight, you know, for the first 10, 15 fights, this guy's just going to run through people. But 
we've all got our own journey and we're all different. Like I say, you know, um, I believe that if I believe if Fabio boxed, I don't think he's boxed anyone as durable as Marius Wack. I don't believe he's boxed anyone as durable as Dave Allen either. So, you know, I think we can say what if, what if he did box them, it'd be different. But, but in like, fairness, in fairness, we could say that he's not boxed nobody as old as Marius Wack as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that, that's true. But, you know, I think you have to remember in the heavyweight division, Spencer, uh, age is a number and some people, you know, don't mm -hmm. don't quite lose it straight away. And I think he's one of them people, I think, it's still, I think he'd do good for the next few years, bringing a lot of prospects through because he's, he's a tough man, you know. Um, I know Tundi was there at, at that fight in the York. I was board. there as well, yeah. Yeah, I, was yeah. I hit him with... I kept having a look at I kept having a look at Tundee, you know, for a cheeky bit of advice, and hadn't he? Yeah, <laughs> come on, come on, and, come on, um, come on. Yeah, I think you know that was he was he was he was a tough man at night. He took he took some big shots. Um, but yeah, you know, do it. Am I am I saddened by it? Not at all, really. You know, I think it's actually done me a favour. You know, my my, my best friend said this middle day. He goes, I'm so glad you're the underdog. I said, why? He said, because I'd hate for you to get carried away with yourself. And I and mm. I said, what do you mean? He goes, because I feel like Fabio's getting a bit carried away with what he's done in the past and he's not mm. sure what's in front of him. So we'll see on the mm. night. Well, I was yeah. well, we off there ringside when Fabio beat um, your friend David Adelaide, right? Yeah. And and it was like, and you turned to me and said, look, Spence. And he was serious as well. So he said, look, there's no way he's beating me. No mm. way. No way. I remember you climbing up on a ring thinking that, you know, you maybe would have got a shout or been on the mic, but maybe it's because um both fighters weren't signed to Frank Warren why they didn't Steve Buzz didn't give you that airspace because it would be a nice sign to call it out but you didn't have to <laughs> that was in that was in end of October and and now you guys are fighting you know what I mean which is excellent it's going to be a really really big how do you feel like to headline at the O2 phrase it's a it's a it's a big thing you know massive massive it, it is a big thing and I don't and I don't know if it's me just being naive Spencer and you know, people talk about pedigree all the time and pressure and this and that. There's not a lot more pressure you can get than being on an Olympic program for 12 years and having one chance to qualify for the Olympic Games. Uh, you know, uh, one chance in mm. a COVID. In COVID, there's not. I don't. Mm. I don't think I'll ever. I'll ever feel pressure like I did when I went to France for the Olympic qualifier ever again. I don't think. I don't think it oh. can be matched. So, so you know, maybe I'm being naive. But if if I'm being naive, naive to it then I'm enjoying that because guess what? I don't feel the pressure. I don't feel it. Mm. All right. And lastly, because I don't tell you to let you go, but last thing I want to know this, if you could tell the fans of the fight is right and the people tuning in, mm. right, I'd just like to know why are you going to win this fight against and become British champion? Why are you going to win this fight against Fabio Woodley? Because I just believe I've got the answer to every question he's going to ask me. You know, I'm putting myself through scenario. I mean, this is what, for me, this is what boxing training is about. You put yourself through scenarios. You put yourself in situations, good situations, bad situations. You you have you have to have answers to questions. And I just believe whatever he has to ask, I'm going to have mm -hmm. the answer to. Um, I've mm -hmm. got, I know I've got the heart. I know I've got the brain. I'm 100% working. If, if this isn't enough, the way I'm working, to have the physical attributes as well, then I don't know what it's going to be. So I just think, a man's going to run out of options and then he'll be there for the taking. Wow, okay. Mm. And I'm Excellent. so looking forward. <laughs> this is going to be a serious uh, fight. Serious fight. Um, boy, shut up like a razor, Mr. Fraser Clark. Seriously, <laughs> and on now because I know like you're you're in your training camp, you're doing your thing and like and you're ready for it. I believe that we're going to also have a really good undercard because I believe that Chris Obongo yes. Congo Mm. versus uh hey! one nil to nigeria we yeah, are going on with that cup i'm telling you tundi mm. i'm sorry to tell you that your 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 fire sticks about two minutes late <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, <laughs> but i'm nigerian bro yeah, whatever man, it's the sky listen whether you travel in economy or first class you get to the destination remember that mate <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Fraser, listen. That's my blinking line, you Phoebe Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure, bro. Um, we'll be there. I'll be definitely there watching and supporting. Um, Come on. Wishing you nothing but the best. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay focused. Stay humble. 
keep it up and um wish you nothing but the best. I appreciate it, boys. For Take coming. care for yes. Frazier. Bless yes. up for coming on the show, man. Love my friend. Come Thank and you. love. Excellent. Big Frazier Clark. Yeah, you know I mean we've got big one up. and only phrase. Yes, Nigeria is up, bro. Hi, <laughs> yeah. Anything we rebuke it can't come against Nigeria. We're winning this. This What's is massive. Man, brother, uh, you can't even see it. You're gonna see it. Some man's a mash up on the floor right now. Yes, <laughs> anyway, you come jump on the thing. Thank you so much for the 1999 evening. All good seeing A White and Tundi back again last night. Big things are gone in 2024. And big up my bro Spence each and every time. You see me. Right. Listen, I'm like, like I'm saying, Tun. I'm 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 looking forward to um um Woodley's meant to come on, but he he's had a family thing to go to. So he's gonna come on in a week. He said, Could you come on in a week? I said, No problem, man. You can come on in a week. Um the thing about it is this, it's like they're not Bro, why, why is Fabio always not coming on the thing? But that's mine, you know, because you know anyone who don't bless the thing when they're supposed to. I don't know <laughs> about no now I'm just being keeping it real. Every time there's an excuse. Fab Fabio, <laughs> don't bro, do not try not come on this thing here because you need the energy of the show. <laughs> bro, anyone who's smart will know have have realized the pattern. Don't be keep on yeah. coming with these excuses about I've got to go out, I've got a dinner date, uh, my dog's ill. Forget all that. <laughs> go, bro, we better you know support what? the thing. Because when all, when these other channels are, are, are belling you down, I see you on them. So don't try that one. I'm just tell you straight. Well, you know what? <laughs> Fabio is um he's 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 a kind of reclusive kind of guy, you know. He's not yeah, really, yeah, he is. I, I, he's a very reclusive guy, and I respect I respect him for that. I do. I respect yeah, him for me that. Too. I, I, I love easy. it. He's very calm, very yeah, collected. Yeah. Uh, and I'm only joking, Fabio. You know this already. Um, it'd be an honor to have you on the show. And um, yeah. Go ahead. Thank you, Mohammed Ahmed, for the four ninety nine. Uh, Tundi, how far do you think Shiraz can go, and does he beat Ubank? First off, congratulations to my young brother Hamza Shiraz. Phenomenal last night. Um, I was right there, apron side, <laughs> apron side, and uh, some of his supporters were like, "I was like, I see the fight going," because I give you, I tell you, Sir Spence. <coughs> the general whispers, the haters outside, yeah, were thinking that Leon Willis was going to win this fight last night, yeah? And I don't know if they call, can call them haters, but there were some people who slyly didn't want to let on to the fact that they actually had Williams, William Williams causing an upset of the night. And There's quite a few people that thought that was going to be an upset. I can't believe a lot of people were pulling me saying that. 100%. And um, I asked... I asked the fans of Hamza um, what they think the result was going to be. And they was like, these particular fans was like, I reckon Hamza will get him out there in six or eight. And I was like, yeah, it's a, it's a good shout. But don't be surprised if this fight ends early, <laughs> very early for either one of the fighters. Um, I think it was more prominent in people's mind that Liam Williams may have got the job done early. But I knew straight away that this fight was done in early. And the way Hamza done it, the power, the power, the speed, uh, it was it was a thing to behold. And the composure of the young man was something to behold. Um, I've, I've seen Hamza from the very beginning. And uh, he's only gone from strength to strength. I, I can only say and come to the conclusion that him basing himself out in the States away from everyone, uh, you know, with home comforts, has only done him the world of a good because his speed last night was was great. His jab to the head and body was was a thing of art. And um, can he beat Chris Eubanks Jr. right now? Well, I mean, if you go on comparisons, Chris Eubanks Jr. didn't do that to Williams, Liam Williams. I don't think and anyone's ever done that. And neither did Andrade. I don't think anyone's ever done that to Liam Williams in that manner, especially. So, yeah, we can... Talk about shot and he, Liam shot and everything like that. But his performance of a few weeks back, at you cool. He didn't look shot to me. Um, okay. And and I'd rather give Hamza the credit of just saying he really is that guy at the, so, at, the, at, the at this particular time. So, so of, of what I witnessed yesterday, of what I witnessed yesterday, the kid is that guy. 
<laughs> Trust right? me. Trust because, me. And, and it's, it's amazing. This one I know how in box it's amazing how someone will get punched up and, oh, no, nah, but he's shot. Yes. Because I'm, I'm telling you now, um, Liam Williams isn't the greatest guy in sparring because I watched him quite a few times when he has been sparring and all the rest of it. Good night, Bubba. Right? And I've seen him a, a few times and he, he don't look great in sparring. I remember when I, when I, I went down to the gym and I saw him, he was training with Adam Booth then, um, preparing for the Eubank fight. And remember, I rang you, I said, Eubank's going to break him up in a few rounds. But mm. it's because he's a guy, he's one of them guys who don't really perform the greatest in sparring. He leaves it to... Like, sorry, what? sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, Manny, you see it in it, bro. I was cracking up. Frank was like, oh, fuck it, <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, you need to watch that part when Abs are, when Abs are sorry, people. You know that like, this is a live show. You know that like, us, man, we talk about everything. We might find things funny, but um, that's not me you put out the comment. This is Manny. He said, Frankie Blue has face dropped when Hamza dropped the Palestine bar. It was so funny, but I cracked it as well. Anyway, sorry, it's funny. Go ahead, go ahead, go you ahead. Know, you know what? You know what? Um, I props him for that. Bottom line, I props oh, yeah, him. Yeah, cover, man. But listen, we don't yeah. even need to go there. Yeah, man. I know we love but I prop, I, no, I do. I, I'm like, I congratulate the brother for that, especially on yeah, I mean, bit more um, I'm saying, I'm I'm saying like back to the fight and that. I've seen Liam Williams quite a few times, right? And remember, when he boxed at York, he looked vicious. He was vicious. boxing on... Yeah, he looked vicious. Like, man was saying, boy, people were following him saying, boy, Spence, I don't know about this fight. Him and Hamza Shiraz, you know? So I'm saying, <laughs> okay. And not only that, Hamza Shiraz's hardest fight that he had was against a shot-worn Bradley Ski. Let's be real about this. Even though he's at light middleweight, but it was against a shot-worn Bradley Ski. And he didn't look too good on that, and I thought they they kind of done some jobbing thing on 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 Bradley Skeet in that fight. But since him moving up now, he's really looked the part. He looked the part. He looked fantastic. He looked fantastic yesterday. Um, the way he picked his shots, and like I said, and like Frank Warren was saying, he's <laughs> like Tommy. He's not like Tommy. Is he like Oscar De La Hoya? Look at yes. his holes, his hands. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's Tommy Hearns didn't cool. have his hands up high like that. Tommy exactly. had loose language exactly. style. Tommy exactly. was a, a you know a, a conk fighter, a manual fighter. Hamza's got his hands up high, waiting to count you. Big up Monty Singh for the ten pounds. Thank you, um, Monty. Um, you want to read it out, Spence? Because I can't. I'm looking. Negativity to Fury is true. The words he used at Usyk. Is personal chat about his mum abuse hay when cut contradictions are sad. Respect to Usyk, humble man, humanitarian comes comes first. Respect brothers, one hundred. Thank you very much. You know what? I didn't know about um, him saying anything about my man's mum or all the rest. I don't know nothing about that. You know what I mean, and I hope that he didn't because I take them things serious. When man talk about mums, like I could be, I could be beefing with someone, right? But then someone else cusses that person's mum, and I'll take offence and it's to somebody saying something offensive about somebody's mother. I, I, I regard mothers very sacred. We all know I lost my mum and blah blah. Regardless about that, I, I regard the mothers as really sacred. I don't like them things about talking about man's mum at all. I don't like it. So I hope it's not true. <laughs> Spence, I think you rubbed up on me. I see nah, banana there. I see the banana there. Man's got me already, but believe me, nah, you won't you know see no I'm gonna allow Tundi. I'm gonna allow Tundi for eating a banana because seriously, if you know how hard Tundi has worked for the last <laughs> month, it's been nuts. Mm. And even more so, like we haven't we haven't spoken. I've just left Tundi be. But as soon as let me tell you this, as soon as Anti are done fight. I didn't even let Tundi get on properly. I thought phoning him to that bro. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. And then up at four this morning, straight back to work. Uh, it don't stop. The banana's just there. I'm like, bro, I need some energy. Because, bro, I was even going to phone you and say loud today. But worth it. Nah, bro. Work ethic has to go on. But anyway, let me, uh, let's me let continue answering some questions. Uh, CBC Boxing. Um, I'll show you your American channel. I'm not too sure about I don't understand. When I see boxing, you, you know, uh, after your name, CBC, I'm like, 
can you honestly think that somebody that has got to the world level twice and performed better than most doesn't spar? Like, it's just like, it's, it's still mind-boggling to me that people actually believe that. Come on, bro. I don't, 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 don't let me answer that quick. I'm not even going to answer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you go and think about it. Yeah? So let me, let me leave that one there. Um, Spence, the bishop, the little 491 man. 491 man, you're supposed to be watching boxing. I mean, football. You're supposed to be watching. And I don't know where you're from, EK, but you're, 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 you're <laughs> African, uh -huh. this said. But anyway, he said in, 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 in Kenya, a DC Bishop ABC says DC Bishop. He <laughs> says, <Baba> <laughs> says Boba Tunde, that yard fight yesterday was nothing fight against a bin man. <laughs> 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 it was a complete waste of time of training of training camp and time he needs meaningful fights man <laughs> oh my goodness wait, 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 it was wait, wait. a complete waste of, of training camp and time he needs meaningful fights now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! He needs a name. He needs. A <laughs> it was a complete <laughs> waste <laughs> of training <Jenny> gum <laughs> and. Damn, he needs meaningful fights now, right now, today, right now, this second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, wow. He needs it now, today. You see the eyes get white. <laughs> Bruh. He needs, he needs it now. He needs meaningful fight. Listen, mate, you little bishop, 491 up. Who have you trained? What credentials or statistics or facts do you have or blueprints that can navigate someone to the position of a world title? What do you know what it takes? That's what I want to know. And please give me the, tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. I, need, I just need to know what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me, doing let me tell you something. In, in, in fact, when we're talking about last night's opponent, it's not our fault if we make something look so easy. But as Fraser Clark has just told us, he didn't realize that boxing, professional boxing, was going to be this challenging. You think you can just go in there and just knock man out. But go check Ant's record. Even people that are, you're being disrespectful, disrespectful to and call them bin men, they ain't bin men. That guy last night had more fights than Anthony, more wins than Anthony, the same amount of losses, three losses. And go look on YouTube. Go look at his fights on YouTube. Not only that, do you actually think it's easy to match Anthony Yard? Do you know how many fighters turn down fights against Anthony Yard? Or the money goes skyrockets. Or the money that they want to fight Anthony. <laughs> it's more than Saudi money. They're like, bro, uh, 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 it's, it's nonsense. It's Tundi. nonsense. So, so, you know, like when you're seeing a lot of the times, the fights are <laughs> the fights that people <laughs> take. <laughs> Taz Ali says, put up what Taz just says. Where's Taz, Taz Ali? Ali? Let me get Taz. Let me get Taz. Wait, wait. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, bro. He is definitely Paul Smith. 100%. <laughs> it makes sense it, now. It was a complete waste of training camp and time. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now. Anyway, when someone says, how did I help a yard? Again, you're another hater. 
with who's putting no <laughs> you're another hater that's putting no thought into anything that I'm saying to you, which I don't really need to say to you. If I didn't have this show, I wouldn't even be talking to you. And that's just me being honest because I like to stay reserved in my own business. But this is a show for the public. People need to ask questions and get answers. So all I'm saying is, what did I say to you at the beginning of the show? How many fights in totality has Anthony Yard had? What? How do you expect him to even... Bridge the gap when yet we're fighting guys who had 300 amateur fights. fights. It's 41 fights, yeah, in totality. Uh, 30, no, uh, before yesterday, it was 39. Now it's 40 fights in totality. Wait, is there 29 pro fights now? 29, yeah. Yesterday was no 20, yeah, just no, yes, 28 pro fights now. So 28 pro and 12 oh, amateurs. Okay, okay. Yeah. How do you expect? So what you want him to just Okay, so this guy that started boxing on maybe had his first amateur fight when he was 19 years old, yeah? You want him to just go in there? Because it's not your son. That's why you want him to go in there. It's not your child. Yeah, you just want to put other people's child and make them go in there. Bro, I'm fed up with these little nonsense questions. What are you talking about? How they, It helped him by gaining the experience of, be, of performing in front of people in a professional manner. And let's get it right. He ain't fighting no slouches. The people, the people, how did, how did, um, Nikolai Sukloka help Callum Smith? You lot's hero. How did it help him? Callum Smith went 12 rounds with Nikolai Sukloka. Anthony Yard banged Nikolai Sukloka out in three rounds. What are you talking about? Go look at your favorite fighters. Go look at the people. It's just that Anthony Yard is doing something special. And the haters have so much blindfolds on, they can't see what's going on in front of their eyes until we fight them. And I'm going to say it again. Demetrius Bivol could not get rid of Lyndon Arthur. Your favorite champion could not get rid of Lyndon Arthur. Anthony Yard destroyed Lyndon Arthur in that rematch. Forget about the first fight. Forget it, because we know we're gone. These are your favorite fighters. But what it is is that the hatred is so much that anytime this young man does something, you want to put the spotlight on it. And you know what? Cool. Keep giving it. Because I accept that. Every man has to carry his cross. Me and Anthony. Mostly Anthony because it's the Anthony Yard show. And we get that. That's why we don't really, you know, other than this show or other one they're asking me on, on interviews, I, I, you know, I state the cause or really come in defense. But Anthony is in the, you, know, you never heard Anthony talk about it, but as his manager, trainer, promoter, you know, because I'm promoting Anthony as well, I have to talk. And it's like, what do you, how, how else do you expect him to get experience? It's nonsense. It, it's, abso it's absolute nonsense. Before last night, yeah, you ain't heard of Nikolai, you ain't heard of um, um the guy, you ain't heard of the guy, but who, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call man's name, the brother that Callum Smith fought before um, Better Biv. You ain't heard of him either. Mm -hmm. You ain't heard of him either. But it's because it's the guys A Y and T A, and we're doing this thing. You want to put a spotlight on it? Not you all, but certain people, and that's all it is. And we've been going through this for so long, it actually doesn't affect us. But I like to talk you know, on this. The fight is right because this is what it's about. But really, there's no need for me to address negativity because we know where it comes from. It comes from a negative place, you know? But you keep questioning or keep putting out these, this narrative, but you're not looking at what's going on. You know, fighters that so-called have the pedigree are fighting the same opponents that we're fighting. It's taking them longer. They're going the distance with them. Anthony is blowing them out the water in second gear. So, but guess what's going to happen? When we fight your heroes and we do the same thing, I want to hear the excuses then. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. How can he not be learning nothing if he's in the gym every day? What, do you think that people just go into the ring and that's when they learn? Come on, man. Get it right. What are you talking about? You don't take the exam and then start studying. 
you study and then you take the exam. Why is that so hard for you to understand? You all you haters out there. You study, again, let me just break it down for you. You study, and then you take the exam. The exam being the fight. The studying being the training, the in the gym, the sweat, the tears, the blood, but not our blood, their blood. That's what it's about. It's always like, it's just nonsense. Anyway, Spence. God bless you, Mr. Ringside. Thank you for the 1999. She says... I feel like put some up, of the question. Put, put it up. Put, I put, I put, I put yeah, up. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Ringside, for the 1999. I feel like some of the questions and statements made in the comments today are nonsense. As boxing fans, it's important to understand that boxers need to stay active and create as much experiences as possible. And Thank you, Miss Ringside, because it's as, as simple as that. Go and look at Roberto Duran, Marvin Hagler, even Canelo Alvarez. Go and look at their record. Every fight isn't a super fight. The knowledge Spencer Freeman will give you the, the full statistical breakdown. But I'm just talking like the average boxing fan. It cannot be that difficult to understand that in order to be successful, you need activity. You need consistency while the big fights are materializing. Otherwise, what is going to happen is you haters are going to come on and say, he don't fight long and he don't fight enough. He only has one fight a year. So hold on. So when we have more than one fight a year, you're still talking nonsense. Get out of here, man. Bro, you know I've been talking this thing for so long. It's just nonsense. It's just nonsense. Your fights will come, but Ant needs to stay active. We need to try and bridge the gap in some way, whether it's against guys that you think are rubbish, which they're not, because when they go and fight your prospects, you see they're doing a better job. But when they come with AY, they're not. But there has to be some... If we can fight... Seven times a year, it will be the greatest thing for us. Fighters, the reason why people are getting fed up of boxing is because fighters are only fighting like once, twice a year. That's not entertaining. Mm. That's not entertaining. So I don't think I'll waste any more time on that on that question. Yes, Ren, yeah. big up yourself. Thank you for the That's five ready. pound. Ren, only world title fight for AY now. Anyone calling that AY better have world strap or they better come with cash. long cash. Come on. Oh, I shut, shut your bumbo. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's let me let me tell you this, yeah. <clears throat> um going generally right now, and we saw Joshua Boatsy at, at ringside turn uh when JD Dyer um our guy um and pushed it out and Joshua Boatsy was very very respectful to the in saying like it's his it's his time now, meaning like he didn't really want to be um like Isaac Chamberlain, um you know when Lowell won the title he didn't want to be that yes. way, right? Because a lot of people found that very distasteful. But I get where it got where it happened for Isaac because he actually got the the British title shot over the back of him running off his mouth. Then, um, I would say like he was being respectful and all the rest of it. But um, what did you feel from? From because it was like a lot of what's his people, he's like he come with his whole family to shilling. <laughs> you know what I mean, uh, at ringside, like, is that the fight that you'd like for yourself and AY next, or would you want the the Callum Smith fight? You know, that's a good question, and it's funny because I feel like, it's it's it. yeah, we know Spence, we know Spence. <laughs> I feel like it's funny because I feel whatever answer you give, people's gonna talk nonsense. But I just have to talk about the facts. And the facts is that <coughs> if you want to come down the, oh, it's all about the money, it's all about the money, then I've already stated the fact that Anthony for put the money to her side and dared to be great going to Russia. What we know is that that was and still is really the embryonic stage of, well, Anthony's older now. Anthony's older. It's got to make sense, Spence. It's got to make mm. sense. It, it can't be just like, oh, yeah, let's fight for nothing. Like, what are we fighting for? When I say nothing, not, it doesn't necessarily have to be for a world title. A world title is just the icing on the cake. 
one million percent. That would just be a, that would just make the whole story be magical. But I'm sure the promoters will get this cracking because, again, from a trainer's perspective, from a manager's perspective, it's a fight I definitely want to see. Well, I want to see this fight more than anything because <coughs> I know you will see skills pay the bills. Not mm. only that, power pays the bills as well. In and skills, power, everything. Now, the key for me is the experience. Because when you challenge yourself and you short, you fall short, you actually know what doesn't work. So you you in your own mind, you work hard, you get to a point, it wasn't good enough. You go back again, you work even harder, you get to a point, you go there again, it just wasn't good enough. So what I'm saying is every time you challenge yourself, you know what you need to do. Every time you challenge yourself, now we are at a stage where I just feel and there's nobody that can beat me. You bring, bring better beer. <laughs> One second. Daddy, let me phone you back. Let me phone you back, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm watching it. I'm doing the show, Dad. I'm doing the show. I'm doing the show. I'm watching it in the background. All right. All right, then. <laughs> you know, usually it's mommy, but it's daddy now from Nigeria. You say, you're watching the football. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it's definitely a fight I, I want to see because I feel... You, you're just going to see that that's what I'm looking forward to is what people are going to say after. Mm. Callum Smith. Callum Smith. We're ready. We have, we got so much ops. Let me tell you the options that Anthony Yard has got. And don't go well, like it's just one. Options, because we're interested to know what are the options that he's got yeah, right now. Yeah, man's going to like it's one fight. We've got a whole leap of options, as they say. A whole leap. Are you saying it's Smith's a whole leap of options? A leap, a leap. Only but option we have. Yeah. Hold on. Wait there. Wait there. I got the list. It's the second half of the football right now, Tun. Okay. Um, we got the list. Option, not in no necessary order. Callum Smith, Joshua mm -hmm. Boatsy, mm -hmm. Better be a two. Mm -hmm. People, Kovalev two. I know Ant would love to avenge that. Billum Smith up at Cruiserweight. We're coming up there. We're coming up there. Jaya Opatea. We ain't fit. There's no fear. This is the point I'm saying. There's no fear. And whether anyone thinks we're going to win, we're going to lose, we're going to draw, it don't matter what people, and this is why Anthony's name is so relevant. This is why you've got guys, former world champions, Olympians now having to come back and call Anthony's name because he is the draw, Spencer. Anthony against any of them is pay per view. Put them against each other, put them against each other. Uh, Craig against Boazzi. Who was watching that? No disrespect, Craig against Dan. We've seen the YouTube numbers 148. Thousand views. Anthony Yard again. Boatsy and Dan. Boatsy and Dan. One hundred and forty-eight thousand views. Anthony Yard against Betterbeev. Three point six million views. And Callum Smith against Betterbeev. Three hundred thousand views. Anthony Yard against Kovalev. Three point four million views. It levels. It's levels. Whoever, no one ain't ducking or dying. Don't try put sp <coughs> sp <coughs> spider in this conversation. Don't try put spider okay. in this conversation. Right, with respect, uh, with respect, with respect, with respect, with all respect. With all respect. Thank, you, Thank you for the four ninety nine. Oh right? yeah, let me see that. Right, and he says respectfully when Ay and and Bj meet, Bj ain't losing. Can you answer? Uh, that? Yeah, yeah, and 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 I I I, I don't I, I I I'm not I'm not gonna win the greatest award for realizing that you're a Ghanaian with the surname <laughs> Boating. 
bruv, get out of here, man. Bruv, you best mind I block you because I've been seeing your nonsense. But I just take it as a, I, mean, I just take it as you're a fan, and I'm like, everyone's entitled to ha have their fan. But bro, that's what makes this fight so interesting because everybody's got their favorite. This right, is why. Thank you, thank you Jay Bolton. Sorry, Ton. Thank you, Jay Bolton. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like, and I'm going to be totally impartial here, right? Yeah. I'm just going to say, can you tell us the reason why you believe that Joshua exactly. White why? in that fight? Why? Why? Even, why? why? Wait, why? I would even send you a link, you know, for you to come on here and tell and explain to yeah. us. If you, we'll send you the link. Explain yeah, to us why JBB. Put the link in the in the put the link in the thing. Yeah, Anybody, Manny, if you put the link. I'm in interested. Manny. Thank you, Joe I hope Manny's still here, but I I, I know how to do it all, no, all as well. No, so yeah, let me get the link. Let me get the link. Right. Um, come Would and explain come to us. Tank, I'd like to hear it. And I'm not ganging up on you. I just want to hear your opinion. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, um, in what respect? Is, uh, you tell me, you tell me, is Boatsy a better boxer than Anthony Yard? Only now you lot are seeing the thing what I've told you from day one. Anthony Yard is the best light heavyweight fighter and the best light heavyweight boxer this country has hands down and uh there's a few people on here that have sparred with anthony and sparred with these guys i ain't calling no names right you lot mob, are just seeing mob vog did uh, i put vog, the link up the Vogue link's up there right yes yeah, up there's up there yeah okay. listen respect, yes. respect to you saying like i'm back in joshua boati because he is gone in and i am Sorry, Tun. No, there's no sorry. I respect... You know what? Listen to me. I respect that. 100%. I respect that. But I want to know... Because you said your reason why. But I want to hear this this Boateng, brother. Because Tundi's mentioned, like, this man's coming with a little hatership thing from a long yeah, time. Yeah, I'm I see him, bro. So, so... I'm yeah, he's going to explain this, so. I, I, explain you know, so. Listen, listen. The link's up. Again, again, if I was an Irish man, it's not no racist. I'm backing my people. I'm going to back my people. But what Straight. I'm trying to say is that when you're in a public platform, you can't just throw things. It's like that guy was saying that AJ's on drugs. I'm like, bro, you can't just say man's on drugs. Like, explain. Well, look, like, give me some explanation. So Daniel J. Bolton is a fan, obviously. I take it. I may be totally wrong. He's a Ghanaian. If he is a Ghanaian, he's got a, his own right to support his people. But let's hear some facts. Daniel J. Bolton, you're on live. Explain, please. I beg. Hello. Good evening, sir. Greetings. How you guys doing? You know, right? I'm blessed, <laughs> yes, bro. Sir. Thank you. Could you always be listening to the show, Daniel? But I'm just always, interested always to know your, Like, yeah. Um, what's your reasoning behind um, you believing that um, Boatsy will come out on top against Anthony Yard? Well, Tunde said skills and power pays the bills for Yard, right? Yes. For me personally, Yard, when we're talking about skills, Joshua Boatsy is better. He's a better boxer than Yard. He has way better skills than Yard. Also, with Yard, what I've noticed, the catalyst for him when he loses fights is he gasses out. <laughs> so when he's fought against Kovalev, he's fought against Betabiev, the catalyst has been he gasses out. Boatsy, he also gasses out too, but I just feel he's going to be too much for Yard. That's just my opinion. Okay, okay. All right. That's, that's a good point, yeah? Well, that's not a good point. That's a point. Okay, so... How do you judge this? Do you judge this against... You just admitted here, live on a five, Fight is Right, that Boatsy has ga gassed out as well. So yep. you're saying... You're saying that Boatsy is gassing out at domestic level. Yeah? Whereas Ant is facing generational champions and in your opinion... He gasses out. I know it ain't the gas out. I know it's the experience. It ain't nothing to do with gas out. Again, if you understand boxing the way I do, because I'm in the sport, you are obviously a good fan. you got a right. Some of the best fans are some of the best um, analyzers of the sport. So in no way am I saying you don't know what you're talking about. But I'm telling you, young brother, I knew anyone that is in the gym with Ant and has sparred with Ant, that sees Ant doing 15 rounds, 5-minute rounds, 10-minute rounds, week in, week out, knows it ain't nothing to do with no gas. It's experience. And that's what happens when you've got a young man that dare to be great, 
Talk chat has taken challenges, and I've said it over and over again. Under 40 fights, hold on. So you're talking about an Olympian, you, your favorite fighter, an Olympian has been offered world title fights and still hasn't challenged himself, then has fought domestic fighters and gassed out. How? How do you think? And then you've got the cheek to say that he is more skilled than AY. Bro, yes. come on, man. 100%, 100%. which part? Yard, yard, what he is, he's way more skilled than Yard. Hundred percent. Yeah. How, how do you make that assessment? How do you make that assessment? I watch boxing, innit? I watch boxing. Yeah, yeah but what I'm and saying is, that, shouldn't you? Is shouldn't, I know you watch boxing, boxing, and I respect it. Another thing. But shouldn't well, you? You said another thing. Well, another thing as well. You said, um, Yard, his best wins against Linda Nathan, right? Well, no, you beat, just you just said his best wins against Linda. No, but I never said that. Okay, what's he's beaten? Dan and Z's Craig Richards. One question, yeah. do you think Yard beats Craig Richards? <laughs> Bro, let me tell this is why I know you don't do your okay, homework. I'll answer the question. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, I'm going to answer your question. This is why I know you don't do your homework. And this is why I say you are listening or maybe reading comments on YouTube. Who boxing, trained, who <laughs> trained Craig Richards? Wait, wait, wait. Who trained Craig Richards before he made the decision to turn professional? When all that... When, when wait, all wait, that, wait, wait. Answer that question. That, to be honest. Answer that question that, what I just asked you. What, but who what answer the, the question I just asked? You. Oh, it's who trained oh, train Craig? Wait, answer the question I just asked you. Who trained Craig Richards before, just before he made the decision to turn professional? It's not relevant. That's not the question. No, I'm who asking. trained him? Who okay, trained it might, him? It might have been you. Well done. But I'm, I'm Hold on. so I'm if it was about. me, yeah, if it was me, how can you ask me the question if you think I think Ant could beat Craig? I, I just asked you. It requires a simple answer. And what do you think I'm going to say? Exactly. So, same way you're it's saying... A dumb, it's a dumb question. Same way you're it's a dumb question. Yard, Let me tell you something. Anthony saying. Yard... I've, uh, Anthony Yard... Listen. Anthony Yard, Craig, are all my people. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, these are my guys. I love these brothers. I've watched these brothers. I've, I've watched these brothers grow from the get-go. You can't make me... Tunde Ajayi start talking negatively about people that are my people. It's a simple question. Five, 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 let, let me tell you something. No, so I'm, try, so I'm trying to say you. This is why I said to you, Craig ain't in this conversation. I don't care who's with him. I don't care who's managing him now. Craig ain't in this conversation. Because Craig is my guy. Oh, I support Craig. But he's a boxer. Now, is Craig not a boxer in the same... Of let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Of course Craig is a boxer, brother. Of course Craig's one. What I'm trying to say to you is... As someone that's personal to me, I'm not putting Craig in the conversation of would I be. If you ask it, I, I said to you, I was the one who trained Craig just before he turned pro. He just didn't want to sign, sign with us as a manager. So Craig went his own way. I know Craig. I've, I've known Craig for the amateur. We live in the same area. That's my guy. I'm not going to answer a question against my brother. That's, my, that's, my, that's like my young son, my young nephew. I ain't doing that. Anyone else, I will ask any question, but Craig is someone we're not going there. And if you're talking about Craig being a boxer, of course, that's what Anthony said on in the interview yesterday. If they want us to fight, yeah, we've already said we will never fight. You have to pay me. You have to pay Craig. This is, this is how brothers are helping each other. You have to pay Craig over one million. Yeah. And you definitely got to pay me over two million. But guess what Tunde Ajayi said? Tunde Ajayi said, you gotta pay them five million. That's how I'm moving. So, so well, come on, man. And it's I don't know why it's so difficult to understand. And it's leaps and bounds and levels over these guys. Not over Joe, but actually, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, fair enough, you're gonna say that, but for me, I'm telling you as well, Bwaxi and is not no levels over Bwaxi. Oh, well, that's your business. I mean, listen, yeah, as I said, that's why I said to you, I respect you. When they fight, innit? That's why I, I said, that's, no, that's why I say I respect you. That's why I say I respect you because you got to have your favorite. You got to have your bravery. You got to have your favorite. And all we're, all we're doing now is just talking because we won't know until they get in a ring. But the point is, is that, the point is, is that, come on, who are we backing there? Are we backing a guy that is taking the challenges or are we backing a guy who's just, oh yeah, I think that he can be. Why don't you fight? Hold on. Let me go, go back with some more facts now. You was never talking our name. Boise has never called in our name. Now all of a sudden you're calling our name. Liam Callum Smith was never calling our name. Now all of a sudden you're calling our name. 
Why? Because AY is the name. We ain't got no Olympic pedigree. We ain't got none of that. But why are you calling us the same guys that do the little pity patty pads? You know, the same guys who don't spar. How comes all of a sudden you're coming for us? Okay, wait. Because so you know why? You know why? Because we are it. That's why. It's quite okay. simple. Okay. It's quite simple. You don't listen. If you're rubbish, you don't go to rubbish. You and your trainer, what's and his trainer, came on and said, We ain't giving Yard no chance. Now, why all of a sudden you come into offer us fight? Why all of a sudden you because you know what time it is, bro? Okay, but another thing is old Tunde. You can't you can't forget that Yard went onto Sky Sports when he knew that Bwatsi's fighting against Dan and Z's to say that he wants to fight Bwatsi. You're saying that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He's not going to stop fighting. So what fight does that say? So what, so what does that say? What does that say? Remember, this is chess, bro. This ain't. This is why I feel it's so hard for you lot to understand me and where I come from and where me and Ant come from. This is chess. When we first come into this game with 12 amateur fights, after eight fights... Eight facts. I mean, let me give you some facts here. After eight professional contests, an Olymp they was linking our name to an Olympian, a bronze medalist. Oh, who in their right mind, unless you're just walking with rose-tinted glasses, who is going to make the person that they train and manage fight an Olympian after eight fights? Why? Why? Bro, come on, man. You, bro, you, you, you sound like you're a young road boy, got his head switched on. Don't get emotional. That's why that's why you're not in my position. Because I don't give you no, I'm not, I don't make decisions emotionally. No, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate just like you. Same way you're passionate for your fighter. I'm passionate, I'm a passionate fan for what? It's more than that. You think it's just passion for my fighter? It's more than that, bro. Come on, come on now. Let's 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 be sensible. Let's be sensible. Boatsy is an Olympian. Yeah, because this is about this. This is the conversation we're drumming up. But what's he's an Olympian? He's got a backing. He was with two five eight management. Still couldn't get no world title fight. Then with Matchroom, offered the world title, refused it. Then he's got another opportunity to fight Bivol in Saudi. He refused it. Then he said he ain't gonna fight his brethren. But guess what? Because it's the number one sport, I'm all of a sudden gonna fight my brethren. Why? And what was he fighting his brethren for? The number one spot, the same number one spot that he just refused. Bro, come on, man. Right, I'm from the same road, time, bro. At the same time, bro, oh, come on, man. You come on. You, let me tell you something. You ain't smart enough to test me on this thing here. You ain't. You ain't. It's a matter of um, he's got the most knowledge. I'm saying my opinion. You're saying no. You ain't. You let me know. No, young man, Mr. Boateng. Let me tell you something. You ain't. You cannot challenge me in this thing here. I'm not trying I to challenge you. I respect you. I respect you. I'm respecting you. Listen, I respect you. I respect you because you're a fan and you've got your own supporters and everything like that. But don't try to come on my thing and telling me about, oh, yeah, what, but uh, no, brother, because I'm going to back it. I'm going to back it. <laughs> I'm going to back it. And just, I have to back my man. Like, yeah, same way you're backing your man. I'm backing my man. I'm just backing my man with facts. I'm and passion, facts and passion. You understand? You only coming to us now because you ain't got no because you cannot even test better BF. You are you can't even go in the ring with better BF. Because if you were that confident, you would have gone in the ring with better BF. If you were that confident, you would have gone in the ring with Bivol. If you were that confident, you would have gone in the ring with Jean Pascal. Don't okay. come okay. on, man. What? Tunde with Anthony Yard. So you're telling me. For you, because I know, I've, obviously, I watch your podcast. I know that you're tactical. You're trying to tell me when you had said that he wants to fight Kovalev, you thought that was that that was the right decision. Oh, come on, bro! What are you? All right, let me tell you. you. And, 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 right, I'm gonna answer that question again. Yeah, I'm right gonna decision? ask you that question again. You just asked me a question. I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you that question. I'm gonna ask you a question. Do I feel it was the right decision? Yeah. What do you? What do you? What do you get in a sport for? People get in a sport for varied reasons. Yeah. Some people just want to make a, a quick money, mm -hmm. yeah? Some people actually want to go for glory and challenge themselves and get the money as well. You understand what I'm saying? It all depends on the, the time you are in your career. When you come from nothing, when you come 
from ground zero, somebody says to you, you know what? Bro, I'll give you a million pounds to fight. I'll give you the opportunity to change your life. I'll give you the opportunity to fulfill a dream of becoming that thing that you watch on TV as a fan, watching 24-7 on Floyd and everything. That I'm going to give you that opportunity. And you come from nothing and you say no? Come on, man. Bro, we're looking okay. to be heroes. We're looking to be heroes and examples for those that come from the same place we come from, from the same environment. And that ain't got nothing to do with color. That's people coming from nothing, having a dream, and then tr trying to fulfill that dream. What, what, what do you, what do you think I know it's 1-1. One, one. Don't watch that. I'm watching it. So I know it's 1-1. One, one. I know Ivory Coast have just scored. But don't watch that. We're talking on a different thing. Yeah. I, we are... Anthony Yard is a fighter, bro. We ain't... Where we come from... And I keep saying this, it's not good because I don't want to go back in my life. I'm always moving forward. I'm always moving forward. We, can, we will be remiss if we forget the times when me and Ant was driving to gyms. Man ain't even got no shower gel money. Man ain't got nothing. Ant is driving an extra where the key is broken. And then you're going to say there's an opportunity to fight in Russia. And you're talking about, oh, is it the right time? Bro, we're taking that. Come on, man. But then, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to teach you something. You understand? Yeah, maybe at the same time, you, at the same time, maybe it's something you don't need to learn sense. right now because it's not really... Maybe you may never need to learn this. But I'm just trying to come from a perspective where you can understand because I feel that everyone that tunes into the fight of fight is right knows they come, you know, they come from a certain... They have a certain kind of mindset. And, and that's what it is. So sometimes when I'm so passionate and I'm shouting, I'm always thinking. I'm always thinking. So I'm like, not just Anthony, me. People know the story of us. We, they know the story. So it's so funny to us when we say, oh, these guys are better than us or uh, they don't want to fight or they're running or... Yeah, obviously, it's competition. People are going to have their favourites. So we get all that. I get all that. And that's what I'm saying to you. I'm, I respect you backing a man, but... You've got to understand the story. You have to understand the story. Why? You don't duck and don't dodge. And let me tell you something. Fighting a man in Russia who had 300, who was the uh, the Ring Magazine fighter of the year twice. Bro, we're coming from Peckham. We're coming from me. We're coming from Ilford. We're coming... Do you know what that means? Do you know what kind of example that sets to others that have nothing and have a dream. This is stuff that you watch on telly, bro. You can't tell me about this. Like, nobody can't. I'm not saying you can't tell me. That's just a figure of speech. You can't, because I know that's not what you're saying, but I'm trying to put over to you and those that are watching and those that are going to watch back what having faith, hope, desire, and belief in yourself where it can get you. Kovalev was avoided. Better be if was avoided, still avoided. The reason why Smith and these guys want to go and take this fight now is because they see what Ant done and they're thinking, "Raw, if Ant can do it, we must can do it." Go look at the two fights. Go, go look at the two fights. Go look at who gave man a fight and who got boss up. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Go, go, just go and check. Go and look at the two fights. Put them together. Richie Woodall, former WBC champion, now fantastic and excellent commentator for TNT Sports and many other channels, said Yard Petabiev was his fight of the year last year. Bro, do you know where we're coming from? And, and you got the fight of the year as well. You got distinguished gentlemen in the sport giving Anthony Yard that accolade. And you want to talk about man's more skilled? How are you going to prove? Man? The only way you can prove that man is more skilled if you get in there and fight a skilled fighter. And no disrespect to Dan and no disrespect to Craig, not one of them are on Anthony's level. Craig, none of them. You, but you said you used to train him. You know that already. Craig, 100%. Craig is tricky for anyone. For me, Craig is what? could beat Yard. 100%. He could beat Yard, if we're being honest. <laughs> It's not going to be easy work like that. Craig could beat you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool.
All right, bro. Well, we, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, cool. hey, listen, Mr. Boatsy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Boatang, sorry, that's my apologies, man. Thank you so much. Hey, Daniel, come Daniel, come back with us, come back with the same energy when these boys try to step up. Yeah? I'm a fan, bro. I watch you up. Bro. Yeah, come back with the same I'm energy. There, bro. And there. there's another you. What's that you? That I see the you today. Um, because you know me, I'm a firecracker. This little pum pum um <laughs> base the kid, base the kid. I uh, see that bro. You see that brother? Yeah, when I see him, let him talk to me the same way I see him writing up things. Yeah, let him talk to me. Yeah, base the kid. I don't know. Bro. You <laughs> man, nah, you know what? Base, base, base the kid. He's alright. He's Chinese thing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Chinese. There's certain people that it's like when they talk, you just have to respect it and everything like that. But my community, yeah, I'm keeping it real. My community, I'm always gonna teach them. I'm always gonna teach them, yeah, with with strength. I'm not coming with no weak man thing. Sorry, you see, I'm talking. You see, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming with. A, I'm teaching. The community where I come from, everyone has a community, everyone has an area where they come. I'm teaching you with a sword. I'm not coming light. I'm not coming light because I have to show you guys. You matter, you, you're not moving strong. You understand? Like we're all in this. Everyone, it's like when you're young, everybody's in competition, and that's great. You get what I'm saying? I always feel that there's no there's been no dis there's no there's no need to be no disrespect when we're talking about uh, Craig is my man. I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't know who's trying to make in Craig's head that, and Daniel is on here, who's Daniel, who's Craig's cousin, my guy, Danny Fight Fan TV. I don't know who's trying to make them fight because these are our guys, but everyone's got their family to feed. If they pay the money, which I'm saying <laughs> these boys have to get, then make it go on because everybody's going to get paid and everybody's family is going to be secure. But it ain't going to be no cheap business. I'm making sure Craig Richards and his family are going to be set. Me, I'm saying that. I'm making sure they're going to be set. And I'm going to make sure, as I've always done, that I'm going to negotiate a deal for Ant, which is, is going to make him continue in being the, the highest paid light heavyweight in this country. So, so it's like, I love it. I love the competition. I, I just, it's all good. It's all good, but... I don't know where this narrative of bringing Craig into this picture has all of a sudden come from. Because Craig and Ant are friends. They're, they're, they're good, good friends. And yes, we know he's fighting. We know he's fighting. And we know that some, in some times, inevitably, friends have to fight. But what I'm saying, where I'm concerned, as a manager and as a trainer and as someone that has watched these young men grow up, for years before they before they before you became their fan and before they come to your attention people that I've watched growing up I'm going to make sure they get paid big money I'm telling you straight but the Boatsy thing we were going to see and we're going to see <laughs> we're going to see I'm love I can't wait bro I, I can't wait but yeah Daniel uh, I hope today I've you know you listen you're a young brother and uh, I know you love the sport and um, but you know, we have to be out there supporting one another as we are doing, everyone having their opinion. It's that when you're young, you're always arguing about who's the best and who's not the best, and that's what makes this fight potentially potentially such a great fight. It ain't no O2 fight. This fight, Joshua Boatsy, Anthony Yard, Anthony Yard, but Joshua is a stadium fight. But this ain't no local O2. No disrespect to these other. This ain't no O2 fight or no Wembley Arena fight. This is a stadium fight. Whether this is at Arsenal, whether this is at Crystal Palace, whether this is at West Ham, it's got. This is a stadium fight, and I know everyone in there will back me on this. It's a fight that has been brewing for over five years. So for that. For that, just before the inclination of people wanting to know what's going to happen, for the, the fact that people are saying that um, Josh is this fighter and he's that fighter and Ant is this fighter and he's that fighter, I think that's great. I think that's great. And I, I've, I, I've, I've never, I'm not saying nothing disrespectful against Josh. No, I'm not. 
I'm, I'm definitely not. You know, I, I don't know where that's come from. I'm backing my man. That's what you do when you're from the ends and you're from a, a south man and you're in a, a, a west man or a north man. You back your ends. I just think that is. I think that maybe it's become so strange or rare that you see a trainer short manager standing up for his fighter the way Tunde Ajayi has done it from day one. That's what certain people in the sport and industry cannot get in their mind. I'm backing AY. If Crutch and Groves, yeah, when Eddie Hearn come with that visualization and even Eddie Hearn's dad was like, that ain't going to happen. When Eddie Hearn had that visualization of jamming out Wembley, not many people believed him. This is facts. This is facts. But now, but now, it's become a norm for Eddie to have these stadium fights. Because he believed, just like I'm telling you, that Joshua Bwatsi, Anthony Yard, Anthony Yard, Joshua Bwatsi is a stadium fight. And people are only going to believe it when it happens. For sure. Trust me. So, yeah, listen, it's so good because, you know, we're there, we're debating over, um, you know, we're debating over who's got the most skill, who's better. One thing we know, no, one thing I'll tell you for sure, no, you don't punch that in the yard. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, Jose. So we're going to find out. We're all going to find out. Hopefully, the promoters can get this done. The pay-per-view platforms can be set. It's a pay-per-view fight. Do you, do you agree that this could be a pay-per-view fight? 100%. 100%. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anything else, Dan? Come on, man. We're, this is good now. I feel that me and you, we've kind of like, we've broken the ice. You know, certain men, they start off arguing and then they, they just cool that they're like they're, they're, they're bridges all the time now. Because, and that's it. Every man's got their favorite football team. You will argue. You understand? You have heartache with your football team. But the thing is, is that if your football team ain't challenging themselves, so, you're just like a, you're, you're like an empty fan. And I feel that now, the only ch the reason why everyone's talking about this fight is because the challenge, even Bwatsi fans want to see if it's about that business. And he was expected to beat Dan. He was expected to beat Craig. Even though Craig gave him a great fight, he was expected to win. This fight, <laughs> it ain't that. Go check the line. Go check the polls. Five years ago, five years ago, people most definitely probably would have had Bwatsi ahead. Right now, because of the experience, because of the punch bar, because of everything, bar the elite level hasn't been able to test and the, the, the tide has changed. But even that, even that, the tide changes, even the tide changes doesn't really matter because on the night, the two young combatants have to oh, get in sorry. there. Yo, and one second. Tell me. Your bridge is on the line, you know. Who's that? Yo, Bill. <laughs> Salam alaikum, brother. <laughs> yo, yo, Bill. Send, send Bill the link, man. Send Bill the link. Yeah. Now he's driving. Bill, we're going to send oh. you the link. To, we want to hear from you. We got to hear yeah, from you. Yeah, send Bill the link. Yeah, so Dan. Um, I'm going to send it to you right now, Bill. Hey, is it? All right, cool. Yeah, Dan, is there anything else? Other than you, you asked me, obviously, about Craig. I said, I don't really want to answer no question about Craig because Craig is my guy. With Boatsy, you, you've said that you believe Boatsy is more skilled than Ant. I firmly disagree with that. Um, um, I think there's only going to be one way to find that out. But is, is there anything else, Dan, that you want to say? No, pretty much. Obviously, fan of you guys, you lot keep doing your thing. And I'm just waiting for JB versus AY. That's all Come on. <laughs> but it's no. AY versus JB, but I understand what you, I, I get what you mean. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Boltang, thank you so much. Big up yourself. Keep on supporting. Keep on doing your thing. You know the rules. Dream it, believe it, become it. Come on up. Have a beautiful week. End. I've just sent Bill Haney the, the, the link, so hopefully Bill can jump on the show. Because right now, Bill, it seems like Bill Haney is the face of boxing to yeah, trust me. Uh, and trust every, um, bills everywhere. And please let me apologize. You will never see me eating a banana or anything on the this show again, unless it's a day after a fight. Because the way I haven't rested from last night 
is actually crazy. But um, I had to put something in my in my stomach. And, uh, that's your business, bro. Instant potassium, but you know that's Spencer's thing eating on the show and stuff. But I apologize. Yeah, that's you. right. I'm getting better sponsorship and food and food and food sponsor. Hey Tun, this week, yeah, I've got to take you this um fish place in um in Streatham. Oh my word, it's ridiculous. Country mm. took his daughter there the other day, Tundi. It's some lobster place, bro. Oh yeah, you know me, I'm a fish man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and the brother who owns it is a big fan of the show. Okay, so, CJ yeah. Nicol Latin says stadium fight, no way. Okay, so explain to me why it's not a stadium fight and what are the um requirements for making a fight a stadium fight? What were the requirements when Eddie Hearn said George Groves and um Poch was going to be a stadium fight? Isn't it more to do with the fans and the anticipation and and, and people wanting to know what's going to... That's what this fight is. That's what a mm. fight between Joshua Boatsy and Anthony Yard is. It's not. Mm. Relegating it to a normal 0-2 fight, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. That means, that means respectfully, you're saying that all these other fights that are the 0-2 is the same level as that fight. But anyway, we're going to come back to that because on the line now, we have my brother <laughs> and the man... The, he's calling his son the face of boxing, but I'm keeping it real. He is the face of boxing, right? Trust me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> my bro, uh, the one, the only, mister, the man with the plan, he's orchestrated everything that's gone on, the one, the only, Mr. Bill Haney. How you doing, sir? Salam alaikum, Rahman, to a lot of the car, too. How are, you salam, mate. How are you guys doing? I'm blessed, good, highly favored. Even better for speaking to you, sir. Couple things I want to touch on before I even talk about this Garcia thing. Okay, come on, yeah? talk to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you, I'm to, brother Bill. I'm talking to Aki. I want to know this. What, what, what was that with Bernard Hopkins? What was he playing at, bro? About come and meet me in the toilet. You know what I mean? Man, I don't even, know, I don't even meet Gal in the toilet, rude boy. Hey, hey, you know what? Uh, I think Bernard. I think Bernard was 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 frustrated. You know what I mean? Um. Because of my my consistency, my persistency, you know what I mean, with uh, my job, you know what I mean, and I think that he's more used to um, something that's a little bit different. Um, you know, it's, there's no secret, you know what I mean, that we stand on what we believe, um, you know what I mean, and that's just the way it is. Um, I, you know, I had a job to do. Uh, Dev told me to, you know, go to the fight, uh, do what I can to make the fight happen with uh, with Ryan Garcia, and that's what I that's what I went to do. Um, and, you know, I didn't let any roadblocks get in the way because, you see, mm. that's what we have. We have Haney versus Garcia, April the 20th. And my main mm. thing was then is that, um, you know, the, the courage and uh, what I what I had in the streets is nothing compared to what I what I am as a father. Um, the thing that that drives me, that motivation. And I and I know a lot of other parents feel that same way. And I think sometimes that we don't we don't pay as close attention to it, uh, you know, that I do, you know, I don't draw down the, the powers that a lot gives us to protect, to provide, you know, and, and get behind our kids. You know what I mean? Um, that's all that you see. You see the passion, um, you know, for the best fighter in the world at 140 pounds, two time, uh, the two division champion and undisputed, you know, so, um, you know, we got a lot to talk about, um, you know, and um, a lot to look forward to. Mm. Bill, can I just say, no matter what they say, what you and Dev are doing, obviously, we, we credit the fighter, but we know, you know, uh, people make people and, you know, you, you had the dream and the vision of putting that, I mean, very early on, you know, it, it was the dream. It was the dream. The American flag colors, you know, little Dev running up and down, you cussing him. Saying you've been talking to girls and then yeah. them crying in front of me, saying, Why you tell yeah. uncle that? Why you tell uncle that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and I'm like, This young man and yourself, the Dev's what 24 now, right? That's correct. He's 25, right? he just turned 25. He, and no he just turned wow. 25. Yes, yes, you're taking on massive money. You're getting you and you, you know, you as a team are doing this. This is unheard of. I don't. I can't remember a 24, 25-year-old man having these super fights. 
at this yeah. stage of his career. Well, Lomachenko. The, yeah, but you know, it's the thing that um is that we've taken destiny in our hand. You know what I mean? We decided to uh, take fate, you know, head on. You know what I mean? No excuses, no promoter in, in, in front of our way. It's, it's Devin Haney Promotions, you know what I mean? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. One minute, um, you don't have anyone to fight. One minute, you're in, the next minute, you're in the biggest fight. But you're betting on yourselves. And I think that that's the one thing that we've wanted to, um, you know, our message to other families. Because it's some other father and son that's watching this and they're saying, damn, we can't do it because of the big three promoters or big four promoters when you add in Eddie Hearn. But we just didn't feel right about that. We didn't feel that that would be the message. We don't feel that, you know, a, a team, a father and son team, son and father team, whichever way you want to put it, um, can put in all the work that you put in. And then when you get to the door, they say, well, this is uh, door number one, two, three and four. And you have to take one of them or you're going to get blocked. Um, if that if that's what that meant, us being blocked, then, you know, what I mean, we weren't we weren't going to take the ladder. You know what I mean? We weren't going to. Uh, you know what I'm saying, succumb to that. And I think that when I say mm. that Devin is the face of boxing, he's the face of boxing because the face is of boxing is that you can put it in your own hands, that you as the fighter, you control your destiny, that the promoters work for you, and the networks are simply a... a metal man you know what I'm doing this? People. You know what I'm doing this? Um, you know what I'm... Sorry, Bill. You know what I'm doing this? What did I... Because before you came on, I was just saying to this you. I don't think you get the bigger picture. You're showing those that think they can't, that they can. Yes. And, and just to hear you say this, when I've just tried to lecture this young man with pure passion and energy, to hear you say it, and you're on a totally different level right now, but we come, me and you were in the van going over to 50 Cent's gym. Right. We we planned this. Yes. For those that don't know, me and Bill Haney, the man with a plan, we Talk planned this. Very from the very from the very beginning. And I and I think that you know a lot of times that um they want to kill that narrative. They don't the promoters, the networks do not want us to think that you can be in control of your own destiny, right? Mm. They, they do not want that want you to think that. Broadcasting, the broadcasting network is simple, simply a middleman to the people. The fighter directly to the people like this platform, platforms like you guys have. This has been wonderful for boxing. That's why I always come on and support, even when I don't have a haircut, even when I, you know what I mean? Because it's so Don't worry about guys, that. Yeah, yeah, but it's so much that you guys do for us, you know, and I, and I hope that we, we can return the favor. You know what I'm saying? Because sitting around- You're doing waiting, it right now, Bill. Thank you, King. Sitting around and waiting for- a promoter um, to say to say something about you, to advocate for a fight for you or to defend you is just not the way that, that it should be. You know what I mean? Um, that, that shouldn't be the American dream, nor should it be the UK dream. It should yes, be the sir. dream is that if you put in the work, that you'll be you, you'll have your shot. You know what I mean? And um, that's what it is. Nothing could stop us. Uh, no one. Um, you know, when Floyd came out with. Um, announcing that Ryan Garcia was the number three next to Canelo and Tank and um, trying to put give Roley the fight. Um, that was probably the last ditch publicly that he could do um, in front of everyone. You know what I mean? Like where the people could see. But it's been a lot of private blocking going on from not just Floyd, from uh, other, other people. You know what I'm saying? But it was very important that we went against them and looks like we won. In the sense of we're making a life change in money. And that's the only thing that a fighter can expect as a manager, as a dad, as whatever, is to put your guy in a position where they can make life change in money. What they do with Come that on. money, what they do with that money then becomes on them. Ex, listen, listen, it's we're so in tune, brother. <laughs> we're so in tune. I'm telling you, this, this is so motivational and inspirational for me to hear as well because at the end of the day it's you you're the fighter you know uh, but it takes i think for me the caveat of what you just said is you've got to put in the work and uh people 
you can say you want to have your own destiny but it is you've got to put in that work and a lot of people may be seeing dev at this stage of his career because of obviously the way but they don't they they never saw those early days they never but saw you see but you see the frustration that Shakur Stevenson is going through right now that's oh. because he's, that's because he's never been outside you know what i mean we yes. we've never we've never been inside we've always been outside you know what i mean yeah. so to be a promotional free agent with quote unquote nowhere to go was how we started we built we built this you know what i mean and so can he and so can everyone else if you have you have that you got to have that belief in yourself and you got to have the belief that you know um and that there is nothing to fear but Allah and if Allah has put that and and if Allah has put it Come in on. your mind giving you that vision then it's for you it's not for someone else like i didn't god didn't give me a vision to be um a bus driver no offense to a bus driver god never gave me a vision to um you know be a computer tech he gave me this vision and and i and you know what i mean and and i stand on that i stand on the vision that i see that he's given me and i'm sure other parents have that same vision but when you let a man come up and tell you that you can't do it that's not islam that's not islam because it's by allah's permission everything and what you ask of allah he shall give you you know if you believe you know i believe I really, believe I really believe in that i believe if i wanted a skyscraper if i wanted an airplane if i asked god for it he's going to give it to me i really believe that and what i asked a lot to do is i said man help me to be the best that i can for my for my kids be something that i wasn't able to have right i wasn't able to have a uh, my my dad wasn't as resourceful as me but he had a lot of love so what i wanted to do was was to get the resources that he didn't have get the relationships that he didn't have and all, and give them all to my kids for them to use and i think that that's what other cultures tend to do share in their in their relationships share in their experiences and pass down the best and try to weed out the rest of it hmm. Bill? Yeah, I, I want the people to go back and rewind the show after we come off because this is a powerful episode today, brothers. I'm telling and you, um, Bill. Um, so I'd like to know is like for this Garcia fight, um, we see like um Garcia got a little bit animated, but then we saw another angle where like you was trying to get at someone. I don't know who you trying to get at, but you trying to get at. <laughs> Bill, Bill. Wait, 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 Bill. I was like, bro, what's Bill doing? <laughs> Yeah, um, you know the, yeah, the thing you know it had got and at first it had got where it was just them you know it was just those 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 guys you know what i'm saying just Devin and him and i was letting that go on but the other team got in it and you know what i mean and then ryan instead of staying with his team like Devin did he ran he ran away you know what i'm saying and you know that might have been for the better because everything had got heated and it might not have been still the fight on April 20th because somebody couldn't have, could have gotten hurt, you know, but by no means was it staged at all. You know what I mean? This shit okay. is real. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it was, we were okay. You know, we had a working relationship. Um, so it was business and now it just became personal. Okay. And, um, and bro, um, when does training camp start? Man, this has been, Hey, listen, to tell you the truth, we take breaks. We've t we've taken breaks, but it's been a lot of work, a lot of hard work to get here. I I don't think you know. We're in training camp. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know we're that. Ready for yeah. yeah, we're getting. The only reason why I asked that, um, um, brother Bilal, is because like we'd love to invite you to the UK. Like we've spoken already, we'd love to invite you to the UK. Yes, sir. To, to help to do some charity stuff, you and your son, because it'd be great, um, to come and help the 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 community. Like, would save one save one life. Um, um, charity or even um, free one free Amadina because they're saying right ah oh, ah oh, get get Devin Haney get Devin Haney and his dad you know what yes. so I'm saying yes. so yeah we'd love for you to inshallah, come over yes inshallah but but like I said he's we've we've started you know what I'm saying like this is this okay. is this is a big fight you know what I mean that everyone has been a big one you know but this is this is the one yes right? um you know so we're dedicated focused you know serious um you know and and camp camp has started <laughs> Trust but me. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that we don't travel and come and do something that's 
um, you know, do something that's uh, uh, really impactful, you know, for the community. Alhamdulillah. And still, Alhamdulillah. We're, and still we're able to, and still being able to train. So, you know, thank you for that. And we just need to talk. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'll I'll think think for me personally, when the date, when you have the date, the training camp started, because it's a mindset, it's a mentality. Yes, um, yes. Uh, and so the date is, remind <laughs> us again, Bill. It's um, April 20th, 420. Um, you know, and that's um, in, in America. 420 is considered National Marijuana Day, you know, so. <laughs> so <listen>. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so get your blunts out, get your fillies out, because we're going to be so, smoking yeah, yeah, Ryan yeah, Garcia. Yeah, yeah. So, Ryan, so Ryan Garcia is going to be rolled up in a pack and get smoked on 420. Not by me, but by he's going to get smoked for sure. <laughs> yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, right, well, hey, thank you so much for your time, bro. I'll be sending you a message afterwards. Hey, hey listen, keep doing what you guys are doing, man, because you you guys are helping the, <laughs> the fighters, man. You're inspiring. Um, you know, without platforms like this, um, I don't know where we where we would be. You know what I mean? And they so want me to stop talking, and the more that they want me to stop, the more you that keep I'm gonna talking. run my mouth. You see what I'm saying? I, the more I, I'm gonna that, run my that, mouth, King. It's working. I know you don't know. I know. I know your focus, and I know it's the same for both of us. But Anthony fought last night, brother. Uh, oh, good! Congratulations, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We we stopped my man in the third round, so we're setting up. There's 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 two big fights that's been muted now. The first one uh, is Fuatsi. They want to do a stadium fight, or the second one is Callum Smith in Saudi. So. Those are both big ones. Yeah. Big ones. Big, big mega fights. So we'll be talking on the phone soon. Um, yeah, listen, you deserve it. You deserve it. And let the people know, listen, put in the work. Can't nothing stop it. I don't even care if it's TBE. Ain't nothing stopping us. It's the Devin Haney era. And it's just like that. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Mr. Shiny T. Bill Haney, thank you, brother. Thank you for joining us as usual. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Yeah. Standard. <coughs> Standard. Standard. It's just a normal show. I'm back. The energy is back, Spence. Questions have been answered. Um, it's just lovely. It's lovely to be back on a platform. I come with the fire because I still got the fire from the fight. Um, but yeah, it's great. Anything else? I think. I think, nah, we've, man, um, I think we should wrap up now because we've given oh, no, 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 more money. I come, <laughs> yeah, more man. money. I come. Um, objective, and there's some Snapchats that I wasn't read out. I'm gonna go back and read them. So right. I can't believe Nigeria. Oh yes. What the armchair expert earlier suffered from a broken record argumentation. argumentation. Yep, e.g., <clears throat> so I. When when Tundi applied logical process of elimination, brain was that <laughs> brain dead regurgitation <laughs> was all he had. Uh, but you know what? Let me read it again. That Buwatsi armchair expert earlier suffers from a broken record argumentation, i.e., when Tundi applied logical process of elimination, brain dead regurgitation was hard was all he had and you are definitely african sorry to upset you right now um nigeria no. <laughs> i can't believe it nigeria i've got six minutes they have got six minutes it. to score <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, thank you for the £10. Um, and you know what? Listen, no, no, no. I, I think that's a bit, you know, uh, again, sometimes our culture, the language, we've got to be very careful with the words we're using, like, you know, because it's, you know, words are powerful. We don't want to be calling young men brain dead and stuff like that. It's not It's not really nice. But, you know, it's, it's all about teaching one another, you know, and that's why I say, especially within the uh, black community and uh you, you can't teach with no weakness. You got to come hard because <laughs> we're stubborn people. So you got to come hard. So I'm just coming hard to come back soft eventually. So that's all it is. So those are thinking I'm too emotional. Too, you don't know the people that I grew up with the way that I grew up. 
<laughs> Shut up, man. What's the matter with you? What are you telling me about the result for? Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's over for Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you see, I'm trying to tell you that bloody Nigeria is a good fella to put no money on it. Yeah. <laughs> you see, again, again, Tartan, you see, you're just looking at the negative side, but I've already explained, and I explained on that live that I'm coming hard to a hard people. So you can't come soft to a hard people. And when the you listened and calmed down, things, oh my God, we lost. Things became more clear to him. And then now we just gone back to the normal, I'm supporting him, I'm supporting him. And that's how, we, that's how we're going to grow and elevate. You can't elevate someone who's stubborn by weakness. It ain't going to happen. So you've got to show strength. And that's, I hope, what I did. And I feel that me and Daniel J. Bolton could have ple pleasant banter now over who's going to win, who's the best, who, you know, who's the most skilled. Until the boys actually get it on. And then, you know what? It's just like Lennon Arthur and Anthony Yard rematch. With all the talk that was going on prior to the fight, the press conference, man saying that don't want man to go back to the road. What did was the first thing I did after the fight? I went and go and hug Pat Barrett. And what did I say in his ears? I love you, brother. See? No, you never. That's how it goes. You didn't say that to him. Pat I did say that. What you said. Pat Barrett said, you're ugly. He said, good, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Spencer. Don't come in there and start spreading lies. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's all good. Right. <coughs> Let me go back to a few... Um, it, um, Snapchats I miss. I'm upset because I'm gonna put you your verse. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? Let me go back to a few Snapchats I missed. Um, yeah, big I up Bugsy that... Malone as well. Big up Bugsy Malone. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Allah is the best of planners. Faith is strong. Alhamdulillah. Team Haney and Ay all the way. Big up Ayas Kalu for the five pounds. Big up Jamie, uh, Jamie Professional Boxing. Thank you for the one ninety nine. Taking that notes, take because it's a powerful show. Um, Very powerful. Rain seventy one. Thank you for the five pound. Virgil Hunter said said only two fights ago he said he didn't want JB to fight for a title, but fight win the but fight win and win. In short, JB isn't ready. Well, this is what I'm saying they'd say one well, thing I'm one not, day. I'm not, well, well, like I'm saying, I'm gonna I'm looking at it from a different. Um, All right, let's let's simply, continue. Let's let's continue on, yeah, with this. Because yeah. people have paid Boatsy this money. Does, Boatsy, thank you very much, um, Bernard. He says Boatsy dodge bivol, so there is a clear difference in mindset. It is not only the skill set. Okay. Correct. Right. Correct. Um, another one from Bolts. Thank you for the nine ninety nine. He says A Y B Smith and Boatsy. The fact that his biggest win on paper is Linden annoys me. Gives yards, pro given yards, proven ability at elite level. I just want to see him beat more names. <coughs> which, <coughs> which he will, <coughs> Jesus. Which he will if they step in. Um, again, is there any more? Um, Rain seventy one five pound again. What is the point of Boatsy? Versus AY, Boatsy is not quite ready for AY. Callum Smith better fight <laughs> just for shot the bad mind, Paul Smith, but if he is boy, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was talking English and I just switched into Patwa at the end, bro. Rain, rain gives me joke. Oh, tight rain, fifth, uh, rain 71. I'll say it again. What is the point of Boatsy versus AY? Boatsy is not quite ready for AY. Callum Smith is a better fight just for shut up the bad mind Paul Smith, but the fierce boy. <laughs> thank you, bro. Um, and yeah, Daniel J. Bolton's comment again. Thank you for the four pound, young man. Appreciate you. I pre appreciate you, young brother. He said respectfully, when AY and JB meet, JB ain't losing. And he is entitled to his opinion, and he actually yeah, came on. I love for that. I love for that. And he actually you know? came on and spoke. I think I'll still I'll say this last one because I think everyone everything else 
from this point I've said. But again, Reign 71, the only world title fights for AY. Now, anyone calling out AY better have a world strap or they better come with the long cash or shut your bomber. <laughs> yep, I think that's it, Spence, in terms of the Snapchats this evening. Uh, it's been a great show. It absolutely has been a, a great show. Alfie, big up Alfie Black. Uh, teach your children well. Absolutely. Nigeria, why? Why are we losing? Again, to Ivory Coast. Simple Ivory Coast. We can't beat Ivory Coast. Uh. Uh, like did I you say already. to Sonny? Nah, I didn't say to Sonny. Now, Sonny was too smooth. He weren't allowed in the ring. <laughs> Sonny, they couldn't even get... Sonny couldn't even fit through the bottom rope. There's that, bro. Security, like, you're not coming in this dance. Um... Mm, interesting. Turn? Yeah, I was just reading um oh, some comments. I thought it froze there. Um, yeah, what? I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching the um the sky. Fair play to Sky. You know, Sky is like I'm. I'm seeing like it's a it's a all black um African. Um, presenter and the pundits, them. I don't know who they are, but they must be. I don't well, know. It's all Africans Cup. Spence. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? So, you know, relatively, well, it's an African no, country. No, but the I'm saying for Tana, that's, that's no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the sky, yeah, but they're representing the African Cup. So, I think it's only right that you have Africans. No, but they don't usually do that. It's good that Sky kind of turned on the page. They don't usually do that. So, it's very no? rare. Because when I'm sure. looking at the outset, and when I look at the outset, I, I thought it was like, um, like the sky set was in Africa because I'm just seeing how the setup there, but it's not. So well, well done to Sky for that one. You know what I mean, for their multicultural. Okay. okay, that's good. Yeah, that's that's the world we're living in today. It's very multicultural, which is good. Uh, Lonesbury Pat <laughs> Pat Barrett almost resurrected Musclehead from Peckham, and it would have kicked off. But Tundi held his composure and stayed professional. South London in the building. Oh, tight loans everyone now nah, it's listen it's sport man it's sport and I don't, you know sometimes when people i think again it's that hatership when people see me getting all emotional and 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 what have you they're so quick to say oh look at him that like he's doing this. it's because you just don't want to give credit where credit is due for other areas and the minute someone shows a real side of them you're ready to criticize or be negative and then it's something that i always knew is a little I, I look at it like you're trying to trick man out of their position but i know when to be correct don't worry about that and i know when to be passionate and i know who to be passionate with and you can't speak to everyone the same um the tone in which you speak to certain people you can't use because people take offense but when you come from a certain demographic you can talk the talk because it's like they, they, you understand they know what time it is um anyway air force 286 dj n1 ollie martin alfie black irish snaps that guy um i shouldn't even have called you because you just said a silly um comment um someone said jb versus arthur next watch oh maybe Maybe you know something I don't know. Uh, Tundi spent seat well, guys. Big love. Simi Tech RS G Chains. Great show. Salute. Tundi's going yeah, to cry. I'm not. I'm not, bro. I'm not. Stamina for sale. Tundi. Old tight. Lance Mayor. Daniel Jill. J. Boateng. Respect generals. And this is what I'm trying to say about understanding your environment. Because we know we're all trying to teach one another. We're trying to elevate. We're trying to grow together. And sometimes you have to talk in a particular way for it to get through to people. You know, I'm not coming from no position where I don't, I'm not involved. I'm involved. It's just that I'm I'm local as well. I'll never forget where I come from. And I like to keep it that way. I will never change. I will always be connected to the source. The source is where we come from. Turn. Yeah. You know, Palace, Palace is playing Crystal Palace tomorrow. I mean, mm -hmm. Palace is playing more. Well, Palace is playing Crystal Palace. Um, tomorrow, I'll tell you this now. Tomorrow, one thing, we got, where are they playing? Just see, I said, right, this is something we have to watch, bro. 
I'm not even a football man, but when I hear these little things going on after, I might have to go. <laughs> oh, to Taz, Taz Ali 87. Uh, Big show again. Yeah, 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 Crystal, yeah, Crystal Palace and Chelsea tomorrow. Mm. Well, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm back in I'm back in camp. Monday, I'm back in the gym tomorrow. Good for um, you. So when uh oh, when's Joel Cador fighting? Well, we're gonna arrange that and we're gonna deal with that next week because now the fight's over. Obviously, we'll be arranging with Joe, but there should be an announcement on Joe. We're looking to get that signed, sealed, and delivered this week. Uh, so Joe is another one. I just can't wait. You know, I just can't wait. You know, another young man, 12 amateur fights, exactly the same amount as Ant, a different fighter from Anthony Yard, but one that I believe is probably just going to be a problem. It's just going to be a problem because he has got everything. He's literally got everything. And it's, it's the, the, the sport of boxing is one where someone can appear to have everything at the beginning. I mean, me and you have seen this throughout our time in boxing, but it's the consistency. Can you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and a, 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 a amount of years? Stay in focus, you know, you know, staying out of certain places which are not beneficial to the enhancement of your career. Are you going to stay in the gym every day? There's a lot to it. It ain't just easy like, oh, yeah, he's a good fighter. But there's a lot of tests that that generally come outside of boxing. You know, it's being in the gym is easy. Being in the gym is easy. But anyway, Tazali87, big show again. Glad, <coughs> glad to have you back, Uncle Tundi. It's an energy thing. You know this it. Come and dream it, believe it, become it. What's my man saying? What? It's a Joe Kodoa. <clears throat> we'll be we'll be back, Boatsi, his Ghana, his Ghanaian brother. <laughs> you know what? Uh you know, uh, <laughs> he gives me joke. <laughs> this is level for Bishop Tundi. You're old. You're, you're too old for this role, man. To your uncle. <laughs> no, I just related to where I come from. Listen, and again, age is is just what's in your mind. You get what I'm saying? It's like it's life. It's an experience. It's a journey. I don't, don't that you that and uh, you know who made me know this more than It's Ant because from very young and when I say young. And been with me since he's 19 years old. Um, it's always like unks, oh, ain't nothing to do with no age. And he's shown it because he's shown wisdom far beyond his um his his age. Um anyway, sorry, this guy, O'Neal, 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 sorry twin on on Neil um Marston, Marston knowledge, fake Jamaican, but you born <laughs> in the UK. Um, I've never proclaimed to be Jamaican of the Jamaican descent. <laughs> I've never ever, even though I lived in Jamaica for eight years, but I've never claimed to be a Jamaican of Jamaican descent. So I don't know where you're going with this one, O'Neill. But what I have to say to you, my friend, is like it's better to create something that others criticize than to create nothing and criticize others. Because Come on. Like, we've just given you, I've just given you a little life there to call you because you ain't got no channel and no one don't know you. Come on. You know I mean, so go create a channel and then let people check on your profile or check what you do or all the rest of it. Because right now I can't check you. You haven't even got no picture up on your thing. So create who's, something. Who's that? Who are you talking about? Um, some, some brother O'Neill, something, some O'Neill Marston. It was, you know what I mean? Uh, bro, I've seen this guy's, I don't know, he's, he's nonsense. He just chats, he just talks nonsense. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it Come has on. been an absolute pleasure. Having you today, we got deep, we got down, we spoke, we answered questions. Who will Anthony Yard fight next? Will it be a stadium fight versus Joshua Boazzi? Will it be a fight in Saudi Arabia with the man like Turkey Al Sheikh at the helm of the contest? Or will it be a world title fight after the belts are fragmented after the unification fight um, in June. Um, what else other options? So you got the, the big domestic, you got the Saudi, and then you got a possibility of uh, a fight for the vacant belts after June. But who knows? There could be a rematch clause. Um, there could be. Which again furthers it. 
Um, we want to thank Bill Haney for blessing the show as Come on. usual. Um, it's just, it's really great to be back. A pleasure, an honor to be back, especially so soon after the fight last night. But listen, the energy always finds finds me when I hook up with my brother, Spencer, the knowledge, fear, and good to have him eating on the show as normal. I actually joined That's him right. this evening with having a banana. Um, but let's hope. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who the people really, you know what? Why don't we do it? Joshua Boatsy one type one, Callum Smith type two. Tuddy, you must have got time for this foolishness. Five minutes, we just read out. We just we just right, see Garland, it. Yeah, Garland. Five Josh, minutes. yeah. If you want Anthony Yard to fight Joshua Boatsy type one in the comments, and if you want to fight Callum Smith type two in the comments, and we'll just run through them. I reckon we could give you another fifteen minutes because I like, don't say fifteen minutes. <laughs> no, you <laughs> might as well. It's going to take fifteen minutes to go out because when you start on your rent now, you start going on that. The, the All box, right, so Boxing you. I have one. That's Boatsy in it. You said one Boatsy, yeah? Yeah, one Boatsy, snaps, yep. Snaps two. CBC Boxing says one. DJN one. Anup one. Sylvester Samo one. JB one. I don't even know how to do a poll. Because a poll, money, this is a, where we need money. Money's a money joke. Money's eating food, right? I don't know where money is. CBC money's Boxing food. one. Alas Kalu, one. Bernard Cordea, one. Tommy, 12. I don't know who he's going. Red Rose, one. CB, you can't do it twice, mate. Motlet M Small, two. Edna, one. Boateng, one. Daniel, one. Simi, Simi Tech, one. Duke Alexander, one. Air Force, one. Tartans, 361. Tommy, one. Nathan Bailey, two. Trevor OJ, one. Gary Chains, one. Miss Levy, H. She says, one. Thomas Riley, two. That's only three twos I've seen in the whole thing. Uh, Tommy, one again. Duke Alexander, one. Karma Serene, the lovely Karma Serene. She says one. Uh, Battle of London to me. It's got to be. Tommy, I've seen that. Do a poll. I don't know everyone's saying that, but I don't know how to do a poll. Um, then we need Manny, but Manny just thinks he can come in and out of this thing. I'm going to sack Manny his Manny needs a box in his head, you know. I'm going to sack him. I'm going to sack him. I'm going to slap him. One of the two. <laughs> Ace. Ace one says one. Tommy, how many times are you going to vote? Um, Red Eye Jedi says one, then two. Um, Fal what up, Falfa Man? One, Tommy, Tommy, why you keep on saying to you, Alexander? One and two, all right, yeah, cool. Yemi X, one, Jamie Professional, one, even Jay Joe wants to see Boatsy against Yard because he already knows what time it is. Uh, Kurt Campbell, one, I want both. Uh, listen, Alfie Black, two actually says two. Alfie wants Smith, the Smith back first, all right, all right. Trevor OJ, listen. It's quite evident. It's quite evident. Kieran O'Leary, she says she wants one. Miss Levy, again, one. Voting. Rich, 12. I don't know where we going with this 12. One. All day, every day. Christopher Sava. Listen, let AY beat both of them. I <laughs> drink Alexander, you know that. Okay. T, use the poll that YouTube has for members. to inter Where's the poll? Though? I don't know how to do it. That's why I'm money. Bro, let me phone money. Money. You're wasting your time. Huh? You're wasting your time ringing him. Sure. Anyway, for we'll more, we see... the next time we'll not do. Yeah, it. definitely. But it's 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 clear. It's clear. You can do a poll from YouTube. Okay. Well, we'll do that after we come under. After we come off, and and see. Um, Philip Answer says I'm edging towards the yard. Um, but you know what I love about this show as well. Um, DJ says, a yard boy see is better fighting for the fans. Is that even though people are supportive of us, Spence, and the show, they're not going to follow us just because they support us. Everyone's, yeah, yeah, got, cool. everyone's got their own choice and their own opinion. And I, I, I agree with it. you got to remember fans as well and people that are subscribers and watch your show. I have to be biased. I don't even call it biased. I just say standing with your own. Like, I'm always going to back yard. Yeah, but this ain't no blind backing. I just feel Ant is better. It is me. blind backing. No, I just don't know. Listen to what I'm saying. I feel Ant is better in every single department. He punches harder than Joshua. He's got more skills than um, um, Joshua. And, he, and he, um, uh, Joshua Boatsy. It's just that you, you, you ain't, there ain't been anyone that really brings it up, but, um, better be have brought out a skill set which many people were surprised in. But now, 
you, the other obviously uh, last night you saw different levels in the pocket catching counting but last night was in my opinion i don't want to again man's calling me uncle but last night was sick the, the shots the combos was on a different level um so Ant is a, a phenomenal boxer but people just you know and ain't gonna waste time he's not he's not <coughs> <coughs> hanging around because you want to see boxing. I see some brother shouting, get in the rounds. That was, that was Boatsy's bridging. That was Boatsy's bridging. Yeah. The oh, fat yeah. brother. So why is, he say, why is he saying get the rounds in for? Because <laughs> we're going to do the same thing. He thought he was in the pub, Fundy. He thought he was in the pub. <laughs> about getting the rounds. Use the jab. Use that. The brother had to block him out my my ears. I'm like, this is better shouting. Yeah, it's what it's, it's bridging, man. Yeah. It's get the rounds in, get the rounds in. I don't even like, watch him. It... This is what I'm trying to say. I, sp I, I sparred with him, you know, Tundi. I sparred with him. I sparred with that same brother about a year ago. I walked to the okay. gym. I am young kid, um, CK Flash. You know, he does the 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 mentoring for young kids. So I went I went in the gym because I went this because his kid loves boxing. So I came down. The guy got a pleasure as well because the little young kid that CK was looking after in the safe house. He um he got to speak to Sterrant Crawford that day as well because a boxing fan yeah so and then we brought him in the gym and while I was in there like the same guy Shane said yeah when me and you gonna spar when me and you gonna get on and took the mm. out of the suit you know I just climbed in the ring took my shoes off and went in the ring and sparred with him straight <laughs> no fat man. no fat man. Man. Don't make your back start again. You're old. No, <laughs> my back's strong, bro. Trust me. My back's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm poor pick me off Tundi. <laughs> I was trying to be behave yourself. Come on. Uh, so, cool. Who's Everyone... this man? Who's this man? There's a man in purple suit coming to give the right, cup. You know, you know, the Africans, they always move different, bro. They've got a yeah, style and like everything. Yeah, but who is this man? I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. He's one of your cousins. Who is he, Tony? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, I don't watch TV. I don't... I share my own world. I'm just in Tundi's world, so I don't even know what's going on in TV. I don't watch TV. This I actually don't man, watch TV. This man looked powerful. Wait there. Adi today was the final, yeah? Someone said Adebayo, which is my son's middle name. Um... Yeah, well, Kurt Campbell. He come out powerful. Do you know what? I'm going to be real with you, yeah? I know it's put out there and all the rest of it, and no doubt, Adi Bayo's suit must have cost a bag of money, and I like the purple because, you know, it's my lucky colour, right? But um, I'm getting... I'm, I don't like how everyone's dressing down now, you know that? I don't like it, Tundi. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think like everyone... It. I don't think everyone is dressing down. That's the thing. I think you just... Maybe you're seeing people um, at particular places. People are still just very smart. There were, I know Frankie Blue Eyes had a serious suit last night. Bro. No, but wait a minute. Frankie Blue Eyes is 72 years old, so he's from yeah, that culture. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? that's true. Right. Yeah, you see the real ogre is coming through now. You see, totally, that's some different juju. Do you see the, the, the juju? <laughs> What's the matter? I've told you, stop saying that. Stop is saying that. Juju? There's a different judges working. And you know, we won the team. <laughs> stop saying that, Spence. Well, it's going to start raining. I was in the change room last night. Spence is not. <laughs> Don't tell man the powers to do. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a kind of tall man still. Spence will start working some magic last night in the change room. <laughs> Before we went out, bro, it's a good job I'd never see you work. I'd would have kicked you out of the change room, bro. So, bro, what, what kind of thing you going on <laughs> with this, bro? I can't even tell people what you was doing. Well, they will be able to ban us in the place. <laughs> Spencer is so funny, bro. Oh, good. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, it has been an absolute pleasure and an honor. You know, our show is. Painted on it, it has fun, it has passion, it has seriousness, come on, come on. it has everything. So, please do not be judgmental of one section or one soundbite you may hear on the show, or maybe at a later watching when you're watching it later. The show's got everything, this show has got everything, and it, it is. And we respect everyone, and uh, we understand everyone's got our opinion, and that's why we've we've 
we've built this platform that we can actually have serious conversation, but also have lighthearted conversation as well and banter and jokes. So I thank oh, everyone for thank, thank, thank everyone for joining us this evening. It has like, been you, a great you, show. Let me just say, like tomorrow is my longest friend and my closest friend, uh, country, Mr. Edmund Clotty's birthday tomorrow. He reaches the massive 5-0. It's Come on, a, big up country. Like, we're, we're on holiday, but he's still watching the show because I'll see him leave a comment about chicken balls. Man's working some different juju out there, right? And I just want to say a massive, massive happy birthday to, to country done. Even though we're the same age, he's been a role model for how he handles and like, how he's handled his daughter, like he raised his daughter, how he's, bro, I just salute you. I just salute you because, like, God has truly blessed you. And I know your mom and dad are just smiling in heaven knowing what children are there producing, what you lot have done. So happy birthday to my, my bona fide country done. I mean, start London, Kennington's finest. Big up country. Um, again, there's questions, there's there's comments coming in that if I start getting into, we're going to be here all day long. But big up boxing, I hub boxing. Oh no, but no, I boxing hub. Big up fight fan TV live. Uh, Danny and the crew. Big up country done. Happy birthday to you. Big up Leah, the lovely Leah. Oh, um, it's just been a great show, and um, it's great to be back, Spence, with you, back, bro. Yeah, it's all good, man. And you know, I listen, you, I was getting certain dry man on the show to write it. But after big up Terence Crawford last week, Terence Crawford come and just bust up the thing for us. And yeah, I see that. I see that. After Terence Crawford come on our show, Tundi, yeah, Turkey, I'll shake for him. You see how this thing goes. Turkey, I'll shake is watching the sun. Come on, these people, the one of them people, they know what time of day it is. Yeah, they know what time it is. It's a serious show. Ivory Coast man are doing some dance now. And the Nigerians are just looking with this face like... <laughs> look, look at the Nigerians. Look, look at that man. Look, I'm going to bust him up. Watch. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> How can we lose in the final, man? Uh, mate. Yeah. It's better for that African diaspora if Nigeria win. That's what I believe. Sure. But <laughs> who's going to win is going to win. And so, I, don't know what, I don't know what happens to your country today, you know, bro. Crazy. Congratulations. We were up. We were winning. But Ivory Coast showed the grit, the metal, the determination to pull through. And uh, it just wasn't enough. But Ivory Coast win the African nation. Uh, it's called AFCON now, 2023 football tournament. And uh, they are the winners. Congratulations to all the Ivory Coast natives ladies and gentlemen we end the show in exactly the same way we started it with the magical words of dream it believe it become it come on up peace two fingers you lot have a beautiful week this week uh, uh, tw- oh you're back in the dream right? you know they got the they got a special screen of the bob marley movie i've been invited to go to you want to go Oh, yeah, for sure. What, yeah, what yeah, day is yeah. that? Tomorrow at five o'clock in Shoreditch. Some hotel oh, yeah? in Shoreditch. Yeah, yeah. Special, I can make that. Food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got I can make that. If there's, a, if there's a ticket there, I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phone a brother right now. You know what I mean? I'm going to phone a brother right now. And go, it's yeah, Caesar, gonna... your guy. So he's like, boom. Oh, is that what he messaged me today? Yeah, it must be that. It's that. Oh, then what is? I can't. I must have accidentally phoned James Cook for Wrigley's. Yeah. yeah that's oh, is really that? Yeah. Really Caesar really messaged really me today. Yeah, James uh, Cook is uh, definitely rubbing off on you about two Wrigley's. Yeah, yeah. That's James Cook. He was giving me pure joke yesterday. Um, yeah, see? Even my bridge. So don't think it's no territorial thing. Even my bridge is them in Ghana. And they're telling me what time it is. <laughs> this is gonna be. This is going to be a fight. It's going to be a great spectacle, uh, a magnificent, uh, you know, occasion for British boxing if it happens, um, which we we hope it does. Both guys want the fight. The, both guys have said the terms have got to be right, the conditions have got to be right, and uh, um, and again, Callum Smith is a great fight as well. It's a great fight for Britain. It, 
you know, all these guys deserve it. All these guys deserve it. Um, yeah, let's end the show, Spence. Uh, we'll talk. Tony, is that the president of Ivory Coast? Wow. <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop it. 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 Well, that, we're going to have to end the show again. Ladies and gentlemen, let us in, end the show in the magical words of dream it, believe it, become it. Come on up. Big up yourself. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, George. Oh, uh, is this Dan's brother? Yeah. What if this Dan's brother? Oh, tight George Aziz. He says, Ade, as much as Boatsy is there, if they throw you a bag for Saudi, will that be better than a domestic fight? That is such a great answer to whoever Ade is. It's just common sense. Well, you, you're going to go where the bag is. It's called prize fighting. It's, it's called prize fighting. Uh, don't, don't, do me a favor, yeah? Just block mm. this old new. Um, Marston, you oh, that same block. that same brother's there block, talking nonsense. Well, kind of anyway, they just block, just give it this. Yeah, yeah, block. I'm blocking him. You're blocking you know I mean? Because you yeah, know what? I mean? speak to KD, um, Andy Josh's, Andy Josh's, um, um, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Well, right. And he said, You know what? He said, Tundi's block game is incredible, so I'll just block him. <laughs> I blocked him, bro. He's gone. Block him. <laughs> He's not even, no one, don't even, no one, don't even know he exists. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us end the show again in the magical words of dream it, believe it, become it. Come on up. Peace to fingers. You'll have a beautiful, beautiful week. <laughs>